Chapter 261 Caught in a Dangerous Situation Translator Born to be die, both Long Chen and that bone-forging elder shouted, their energy surging out. They were both planning on using their spiritual key to send the other flying. This was an extremely critical moment. They had to seize the initiative. Whoever lost out first and was sent flying would immediately receive a torrent of attacks from the other, which would quickly cause them to be defeated. And so this one exchange was critical to their life and death. The two of them were erupting out with their full strength, not reserving anything. Booming continued to echo out as the two of them faced off. The ground was unable to bear their terrifying strength and began to cave in. The two of them began sinking onto a crater. Furthermore, this crater continued to spread as they released their terrifying energy. And in just a couple breaths, it was over 10 miles wide. Boom. After a final explosion, the two of them fell back at the same time. They were actually on the same level, with neither able to suppress the other. Everyone on the battlefield, both friend and foe, was completely stupefied. Long Chen's strength had shaken everyone. Kill. Long Chen's roar shook the nine heavens. He advanced courageously, taking the initiative to use Devil Decapitator to attack the corrupt elder. Long Chen had to take the initiative at this time. His complete Feng Fu battle armor was the reason he was so incredibly powerful. But the exhaustion rate was also incredible. Even with the support of his divine ring, he was exhausting far more spiritual ki than he absorbed. He wouldn't be able to continue for long before his spiritual ki ran dry. That was also the point that Long Chen was most helpless about. He might be powerful, but he wasn't able to maintain his peak for long. He wouldn't even be able to fight as Phil before becoming weak. No man would be able to accept such a thing. But Long Chen knew that before the Aliyah star was condensed, there was nothing he could do about this weakness. He could only persevere as long as he could. And so Long Chen erupted with his full strength. He had to kill this corrupt elder before his spiritual key ran out, or he would be the one to die. Long Chen also couldn't hope for others to save him. If he started thinking that and began fighting in a stalling method, that would disperse all his drive. This powerful elder would be able to kill him in just a few moves. The thing that irritated Long Chen the most was that the will from deep within his soul had once more began to disturb him, wanting him to go cut down this corrupt elder. The will inside him wanted him, a blood condensation rookie, to go kill an old bone forging monster who had lived for who knew how many years. That was practically bullying. But even if it was bullying, Long Chen still had to do it. There was no path of retreat. He could only press forward. Devil Decapitator contained endless energy as it viciously slashed down on the corrupt elder over and over and over again. Somehow, Long Chen had combined three attacks into one. That corrupt elder was horrified to see that Long Chen's three attacks contained a marvelous kind of superposition effect. After his first attack, his second attack brought with it the leftover power of the first attack, making it even stronger. Then the third attack contained leftover power from the first two attacks and that superposition contained an incredible power. That corrupt elder was forced back over and over again. Just Long Chen's first attack had forced him stumbling back. He was completely suppressed by Long Chen's imposingness and immediately sunk into a disadvantage. Then the next two attacks were even fiercer. That was especially true of the third attack. He had been unable to endure that mountain collapsing. See toppling force and was finally sent flying. Long Chen had been waiting just for that moment. After that third attack, all his remaining energy poured into Devil Decapitator. A saber image 300 meters long soared into the sky, looking like a celestial blade as it hacked down with a will to destroy the very dome of the heavens. Split the heavens. His saber caused the entire world to tremble. This was the strongest attack Long Chen possessed. He poured all his remaining spiritual key into. That spiritual key was less than half of his max. Long Chen had realized that if he still didn't use Split the Heavens now, then if they kept fighting for even a moment longer, he wouldn't have enough spiritual key for it. And so now victory or death it Turing would all be decided in this one move. This one attack contained all of Long Chen's heart and soul. It contained Long Chen's courageous will as well as his fearless resolution. He would only advance. No fear of death would ever make him retreat. The instant Long Chen's saber fell, that corrupt elder's expression completely changed. He was filled with horror, as in that instant. All his hair stood on end and an incredible sensation of death filled his heart. Most importantly, he was still flying through the air after taking Long Chen's third saber attack, and so he had no way of dodging. The instant his feet would hit the ground, Long Chen's saber would hit him as well. Everything had been calculated perfectly. In midair, he had no way of doing anything. Seeing that saber cut through heaven and earth to reach him, 
that corrupt elder roared and all his energy was concentrated to his right hand. His right hand immediately became pitch black. As for the other parts of his body, they immediately became duller. He had drawn out all his energy to his hand. Black Yun Ghost Claw. His pitch black claw ferociously slammed into Long Chen's Devil Decapitator. The entire world became silent for an instant. But then right after the silence, an immense explosion rang out. An explosion that could break apart mountains. An explosion that caused the ground to erupt, forming a huge crater dozens of miles wide. When the dust scattered, people saw two figures a mile from each other at the bottom of the crater. Long Chen was lying on the ground. Devil Decapitator stabbed into the ground. His clothes were absolute rags now and his hair was a complete mess. A huge amount of blood had appeared on his chest, and he was gasping for breath on the ground. His body was also constantly quivering due to overdrafting his energy. That last attack had not only used up all his spiritual ki, but it had also used up all his physical energy as well. Long Chen almost felt as if he had died. He didn't even have the strength to twitch his fingers. He stared over at the corrupt elder. But his pupil shrunk when he saw him still standing there. That corrupt elder was still capable of standing. But his face was paper white. And his eyes were filled with shock. He looked at his arm in disbelief. His entire right arm was gone. The right arm he had focused a lifetime cultivating had been unable to endure Long Chen's attack. That was both shocking and infuriating to him. As an A-temper bone forging expert, that arm's bones were all tempered. And something impossible for him to grow back. No medicinal pills would be able to help him. His future cultivation prospects had been completely crippled now. Brat, I'll tear you to pieces. That corrupt elder angrily charged at him, not giving a damn about his own heavy injuries. Long Chen was unable to move anymore, and he could watch as that elder sent a kick at his abdomen. He was sent flying across the ground. That single kick had been filled with hatred. An ordinary core disciple would have been killed instantly, without any spiritual key protecting his body. Long Chen vomited out blood from that kick. He tumbled hundreds of meters before stopping. He then coughed up two more mouthfuls of blood. He felt as if his body was about to fall apart. Die. That elder rushed after him, sending another kick at him, this time at his face. If this kick landed solidly, his head would definitely explode and he would be undoubtedly dead. Thousand Wood Shield. Just before the elder's kick arrived. The ground in front of Long Chen split apart and a dozen wooden stakes frantically interweaved into a shield. That large shield was crushed by that corrupt elder's kick, but Long Chen had disappeared from behind it. Looking up, that corrupt elder saw that a young woman was crouching on the ground, holding Long Chen in her arms. That woman was naturally Chu Yao. Originally, it would have taken her a long time in order to defeaturing her opponent, but after hearing Tu Fang's order, she had been horrified to see Long Chen fighting a powerful corrupt elder. She had immediately stopped to have any misgivings and released her body's core energy. If a wood cultivator's body was like a massive tree, then their core energy was like their roots. The roots were the source of all energy. But once they used that energy, their cultivation base would temporarily stop advancing until it was replenished slowly. There was also a chance of it destabilizing their foundation. Once your foundation was injured, it would impact all your future advancements. That was why a wood cultivator's core energy was especially important to themselves. However, after seeing Long Chen in danger, Chu Yao had stopped caring, drawing out her core energy to support her regular wood energy. The instant her core energy joined her wood energy, Chu Yao's wooden stakes began to glow with golden runes. Those runes made her wooden stakes incomparably hard, as if they were made of metal. With hundreds of those golden wooden stakes attacking him, that favored, despite how powerful he was, had been unable to endure. He had been directly killed by the terrifying energy contained within her golden wood. Chu Yao had only just killed him when Long Chen and that corrupt elder began to fight fiercely. Their collision in the end had sent her flying out. By the time she rushed back, she saw that Long Chen had really been about to die and summoned out a wooden shield to protect him. Chu Yao knew that this corrupt elder was extremely terrifying, and she wouldn't be enough to stop him even if she went all out. She only used her ordinary wood energy, conserving her core energy again. Her wood energy had pulled Long Chen to her while also blocking that corrupt elder's attack. Placing her hand on Long Chen's shoulder, she began to pour in her life energy to heal him. You dare obstruct me? Die. That corrupt elder's anger soared, and he charged at the two of them. Old ghost, you should die instead. Suddenly. A roar rang out as Gu Yang appeared, punching out at him. Six Yang fist. At the same time as Gu Yang's fist was about to reach him, two other attacks also arrived. 
frigid wind slash chilling ice destruction. Tang Wan'er and Ye's Hikyu had also come at this time. The three of them launched simultaneous attacks on this corrupt elder. Ants. Fuck off. That corrupt elder swung out a single fist, immediately shattering Tang Wan'er and Ye's Hikyu's wind and ice blades. As for Gu Yang, the instant his fist met the corrupt elder's fist, he was sent flying out, his arm broken in multiple places. Tang Wan'er and Ye's Hikyu were both alarmed. They hastily condensed new weapons and charged forward again. They had to stall enough for Long Chen to heal. Scram. That corrupt elder's hand became completely black. And when his palm slammed forward, Gale Winds raged. The two of them were sent flying, vomiting out blood. The difference between them was too great. Since you want to die, I'll help you out. That corrupt elder laughed sinisterly, and his hand reached out to grab Tang Wan'er's neck. But before his claw could touch Tang Wan'er, a chilling attack came slashing for his arm. Chapter 262 Wood Spirit Union Translator Born to be that corrupt elder was worthy of being an old ghost who had survived hundreds of battles. He sensed something was wrong at the first instant, immediately giving up on Tang Wan'er and retreating. Boom. He had only just retreated when a terrifying saber image fell where he had been. A long ditch was cut into the ground. That corrupt elder was horrified. Long Chen had just been half dead, but now he was standing. Spiritual key circulating throughout his body looking completely recovered. Long Chen had been heavily injured, and it was Chu Yao who had used her enormous life energy to save him, healing all his injuries. But Long Chen's body was too powerful. Even with Chu Yao's enormous life energy, she was unable to help him recover completely in just a short moment. Seeing how much danger Tang Wan'er and them had been in, Long Chen had been about to charge out despite having only recovered the slightest bit of spiritual key. However, he had been stopped by Chu Yao. Long Chen, do you trust me? Asked Chu Yao extremely gravely. Of course I trust you. What is it? Long Chen was a bit surprised that Chu Yao would actually ask such a question at this critical moment. Warmth appeared in Chu Yao's eyes and she smiled slightly. Since you trust me, open up your soul to me. Let my soul touch your soul. Only then will you have a chance of defeating that old demon from the corrupt path. Although he didn't know what Chu Yao was talking about, he still had absolute trust in her. Long Chen didn't hesitate to lower his spiritual defenses. Normally, a person's soul was hidden in the space between their eyebrows. It was a closed-off state, separated from the outside world. This was in order to keep themselves protected from spiritual attacks. Now that Long Chen had opened up his soul to her, that was equivalent to giving her his life. If Chu Yao wanted to, she could kill Long Chen with just a thought right now. Chu Yao was incredibly moved that Long Chen had such trust in her. She sniffled her nose and took a deep breath before forming a hand seal in front of her. She sat lotus style on the ground. The instant she formed that hand seal, it was as if her entire body became a wooden carving. All her vitality had faded. Wood spirit union. Chu Yao's aura completely faded away. At the same time, Long Chen's soul shook. Countless memories poured into him in an instant. Long Chen saw everything that Chu Yao had experienced in her lifetime. He immediately understood that Chu Yao's wood spirit union used her spiritual strength to guide all her energy into him. As a wood cultivator, attacking was not her forte. However, she had an ocean's worth of energy in comparison to others of her level. Chu Yao had an enormous amount of energy, and yet she wasn't able to release it in any powerful attacks. As for Long Chen, he was the opposite, with powerful techniques, but lacking enough energy to use them. When Chu Yao's energy poured into Long Chen, Three large leaves that were three meters long appeared on Long Chen's back. Those weren't real leaves, but the form that Chu Yao's runic power had taken. They were both real yet not real, illusory yet not illusions. They alternated between solid and empty, completely incomprehensible. Long Chen could feel an incredibly vast amount of energy inside those three leaves. Compared to his own Feng Fu star's energy, it was at least ten times greater. And now all that energy was at his disposal. With the support of this powerful energy, Long Chen was completely revived. He had immediately attacked when he saw Tang Wan'er in danger. Tang Wan'er had really thought she would die. That corrupt elder was just too frightening. Wan'er, you guys don't attack. Make sure to protect Chu Yao. Don't let anyone get close to her. Long Chen knew that Chu Yao was in a special state right now. Her soul had acted as bridge to share her energy with him. At this moment, she was unable to move her own body and her defensive strength was zero. Long Chen then rushed out, slashing down with Devil Decapitator onto the horrified corrupt elder. I see a black mark on your face. 
Today you'll definitely die. Boom. The corrupt elder pushed down his shock, pushing out with his full strength a devil decapitator. As a result, he was sent flying back. He tumbled across the ground for hundreds of meters before miserably stabilizing himself. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. That corrupt elder angrily roared crazily up at the sky. Long Chen was now even more powerful than he had been before. His own full strength attack was now unable to block even a random wave of his saber. In truth, it wasn't that Long Chen was now stronger than before, but that he had just become weaker. After blocking Long Chen split the heavens, he had lost one of his arms while also suffering internal injuries. But in his fury, he had completely forgotten that his body was now too weak. That was why he couldn't even receive an ordinary attack from Long Chen anymore. Long Chen slowly walked over to the corrupt elder. His divine ring once more appeared behind him. The 300 meter wide divine ring looked just like a rainbow in the sky. Long Chen's aura erupted like a volcano, the space around him twisting. Looking from a distance, his figure was extremely indistinct through that twisted space, making him appear both powerful and strange. With each step Long Chen took, the ground beneath him would shatter. He was like a celestial descended from the heavens, an existence all beings could only submit to, whether it was the righteous or corrupt path. Everyone was given a fright when they saw Long Chen's current appearance. Long Chen was an absolute monster, powerful without end. Kill. Long Chen suddenly stamped on the ground, shooting forward like a wild gust of wind at the corrupt elder. He looked like a demon king demanding his life, once more slashing out with devil decapitator. But this slash was different from his previous attacks. Previously, each time Long Chen brandished his saber, gusts of wind would whistle around it. But this time, there was no sound at all. That was because his energy had been focused to the pinnacle, cutting through the air so sharply that there was no wind. That corrupt elder was shocked, infuriated, and yet also filled with terror. By relying on his many years of battle experience, he knew that at this time, the only chance for him to win was to go all out. Circulating all his energy, he concentrated everything into his hand. Black Yun Ghost Claw. Boom. The entire battlefield shook intensely. A figure shot out like a cannonball shooting through the entire battlefield to crash into a huge mountain a dozen miles away. The place he crashed into was a cliffside. He slammed into it so hard that his body left behind a deep imprint. Cracks spread throughout the entire cliff, but it didn't collapse. That corrupt elder was still embedded in the cliff, his eyes having lost all their color, his expression both shocked yet vacant, lazily resting devil decapitator on his shoulder. Long Chen took a deep breath, so emotionally moved that he almost teared up. He was simply too refreshed and excited at being able to use spiritual key in this manner. Previously, he had had to carefully use each and every bit of his spiritual key, but with Chu Yao sharing her energy with him, he was able to become a complete spendthrift. He no longer had to worry about running out of spiritual key. Brothers of the Righteous Path, become heartless killers. Dye your robes red with blood. Let your blades pierce through the bodies of your enemies. Unleash all your desires, all your vengeance. Look at your fallen brothers. They are definitely watching us from the heavens. Brothers, kill them all. Long Chen's passionate speech rang through the air. Kill, kill, kill. Long Chen's fight with the corrupt elder had been so eye attracting that the entire battlefield had slowed down. But now, the eyes of the righteous disciples turned red and their blood boiled. Thinking of their fallen brothers, they began going all out against the corrupt disciples. By now, the battlefield held almost equal numbers of righteous and corrupt disciples. They each had just over 2,000 people. But the righteous path had started off with just over 3,000 people. As for the corrupt disciples, they had started off with more than 10,000 at the time of the first clash. Now they had been reduced to just 20% of their number. This huge disproportion was largely thanks to two fighters. One was Little Snow. His wind blades could rapidly dispatch multiple corrupt disciples. If Long Chen hadn't told him to focus on core disciples, he would have managed to kill even more. The other contributor was Guo Ran. However, at this time, Guo Ran was now only wielding a saber behind the front lines and ferociously hacking it at the corrupt disciples. That was because he had run out of arrows an hour ago. He had been incredibly angered by that, but he could only fight like the others now. His regular combat strength was extremely ordinary. It would take him quite a while just to kill an ordinary corrupt disciple. Furthermore, those corrupt disciples had already been covered in wounds from this battle. Otherwise, it would be difficult to say just who would be killing who. That angered Guo Ran even more. He practically went insane. 
and he vowed he would never let himself run into this state of having no more ammunition again. The righteous disciples were incredibly dominant now, suppressing the corrupt disciples. After experiencing this kind of battle, they would undoubtedly become amazing experts. Seeing that the result of this battlefield was already set, Long Chen turned to look at the senior disciples' battle. That place was even more intense because they had even more people, but both sides' combat abilities were relatively even. Long Chen immediately rushed over there. He deliberately picked out the more powerful corrupt disciples who were at the peak of tendon transformation. With Chu Yao's enormous spiritual key supporting him, Long Chen activated all of Devil Decapitator's runes. Each swing of his saber contained an incredible force, and almost no one was able to block him at all. Boom. Long Chen's saber killed a bunch of experts that had been surrounding Senior Apprentice Brother Wan. Senior Apprentice Brother Wan's expression was one of crazy rapture. Nice job Long Chen. I really didn't misjudge you. Senior Apprentice Brother Wan laughed. He had always believed that Long Chen would definitely become a peerless expert. We don't need you here Long Chen. Go see whether you can go and kill that person called Yun Luo. But you have to be careful, as he's definitely not weaker than you at all. Long Chen nodded, randomly killing a couple displeasing fellows on his way. He rushed over to Yun Luo and Mo Nian's battle. Chapter 263 Xianchen Power Translator Born to be arriving at Mo Nian and Yun Luo's battle, Long Chen's heart shook. Their battle was incredibly intense. A spear and arrows continuously shook the heavens. Key waves surged out causing the sky to constantly tremble. Although Long Chen had already killed a favored, these two were much, much stronger than that favored. They were simply not on the same power level. Brother Mo Nian, do you want some help? Seeing their battle, Long Chen's heart was filled with a desire for battle. The two of them were around the same age as him, and they were shockingly powerful, not at all inferior to that corrupt elder. In fact, looking at their battle now, they might even be stronger. I'm still a bit lacking. Come. Let's kill him quicker and then find a place to drink some good alcohol. Mo Nian's Ba was constantly shooting out arrows, but from the start, he was unable to do anything to Yun Luo, irritating him. He had bragged at the beginning of their fight, but this Yun Luo was just too powerful. The two of them were completely even for now. Mo Nian was unable to kill Yun Luo, but Yun Luo was also unable to do anything to Mo Nian. The two of them were both top experts, and it was incredibly difficult to kill either of them. Mo Nian had already grown tired of this. This was the first time he met someone in the same realm who could fight against him for such a long time. He surprisingly didn't have any complaints to Long Chen's suggestion. Long Chen laughed and shot forward, entering their battle range and bringing his saber down on Yun Luo. But when he entered their range, he felt a strange forcey field present. That forcey field wasn't any aura, but the two of their wills. This was the first time Long Chen had encountered such a forcey field. But as soon as he entered that forcey field and was influenced by their wills, Long Chen's own will erupted out of his control. His will was different from their wills. Long Chen's will wasn't focused on any person, but focused against all of heaven and earth. His will was one that wished to break apart the shackles of the world and disdainfully look down on the nine heavens. Both Mo Nian and Yun Luo sensed Long Chen's will erupting and were shocked. Watch out. Long Chen's devil decapitator radiated brilliant light as it slashed down. Yun Luo coldly snorted. The spear's runes lit up, smashing into Long Chen's saber. Boom. Golden light shot out and an explosion shook the sky. Long Chen's body shook, and his arm turned a bit numb. What powerful strength. Long Chen was appalled. Yun Luo was really too powerful. Definitely not weaker than that corrupt elder in the slightest bit. Long Chen was forced back, but Yun Luo was also shocked. His strength placed him number one amongst this region's corrupt path's junior generation. In all his years. He had always relied on his powerful strength to directly kill his opponents. He had even killed quite a few bone-forging experts. But Long Chen's attack had caused his arm to turn slightly numb as well. In fact, his spear had almost been knocked out of his hands. How could he not be shocked Novaloon.com just at this moment? Mo Nian shot over an arrow, and Yun Luo hastily raised his spear, smashing the arrow apart. But due to the powerful strength behind it, he was knocked back. Long Chen naturally wouldn't give up on that opportunity, and his saber once more attacked him. Boom, boom, boom. With Long Chen at close range and Mo Nian at long range, they forced Yun Luo to retreat over and over again. After all, no matter how strong Yun Luo was, he couldn't handle the two of their combined attacks. Let's hurry up and kill him. Mo Nian was delighted to see that Long Chen was so powerful. His bow continuously shot out arrow after arrow. 
Mo Nian was a long-range fighter, so naturally he had been at a disadvantage when fighting against Yun Luo. Yun Luo was just too fast, and it was difficult for him to keep him at a distance. Now that Long Chen was in the front, he no longer had to be worried about that and could continuously rain down arrows. Although he kept the pace a bit slow since he was afraid of accidentally hitting Long Chen, the two of them were still extremely powerful when fighting together. So what if you two are joining hands? Netherworld possession. Yin Luo suddenly shouted and an illusory phantom appeared behind him before then slowly fading into his body. Space suddenly began to surge. Long Chen and Mo Nian's expressions changed. They sensed that something had changed in the world around them. Not good. This bastard has refined Xi'anchen essence blood. Mo Nian warned. That was something that could only be formed once a meridian opening expert broke apart the limits of the Haoshan realm. Stepping into the Xi'anchen realm. Only once you were in the Xi'anchen realm and your body had been completely cleansed could you form Xi'anchen essence blood. Xi'anchen experts had already escaped the limits of the Haoshan body. Heaven and Earth blessed them allowing them to control the natural energy around them for their own use. Even their lifespans would extend to past a thousand years, and their essence blood was the source of their energy and was extremely precious. That was because only Xi'anchen essence blood was able to control natural energy. As for Yun Luo, somehow his body also contained Xi'anchen essence blood. He could now control the natural energy around him. However, he could only control the slightest little bit. But that slightest little bit was absolutely terrifying. It wasn't something an ordinary person could resist. Die. An unhealthy flush appeared on Yun Luo's face. Although his body contained Xi'anchen essence blood, natural energy was not so easy to control. Even that little bit was not something he could control perfectly. Space trembled as all the energy within 3000 meters of him was poured into his spear. Chasing soul pierce. Yun Luo's golden spear ferociously shot at Long Chen its terrifying energy almost causing space to erupt. Earth reversal mountain shaking arrow. Mo Nian was the first to react. Unlike Long Chen, he had a greater understanding of how terrifying Yun Luo's attack was. This attack had the power to kill even bone forging experts. And so he no longer kept anything back. All his energy was poured into his bow and a 30 meter long, red colored arrow shot out at Yun Luo. Although he didn't know what Xi'anchen essence blood was. Long Chen's intuition told him that this attack would definitely be terrifying. Holding Devil Decapitator with both hands, he poured Chu Yao's vast energy into his saber. This time Long Chen was being a true spendthrift. He used up every single bit of Chu Yao's energy that was several times more than what he possessed even in his peak. But Long Chen was shocked to find that even with Chu Yao's vast energy, he still hadn't reached the limit of split the heavens. Due to how vast that energy was, Long Chen felt a familiar sensation of his meridians in pain, as if they were about to burst. A terrifying saber image shot out. Long Chen's devil decapitator began to let out a cry that was full of a desire to massacre. Split the heavens. Devil decapitator slashed down. This was the most powerful attack Long Chen had ever used. Boom. The three attacks ferociously slammed into each other. A loud rumbling deafened the world. Long Chen's arm was shaken so intensely that he lost hold of Devil Decapitator. He was sent flying, vomiting out blood. When Long Chen's line of sight recovered, he saw a huge crater had formed. At the bottom, a spring of water was gushing out. The entire battlefield turned sluggish. He couldn't hear anything, but he could see there were still two figures who looked just as exhausted as him. Yin Luo's face was paper white. His aura had plummeted, and he was completely shocked. Mo Nian wasn't any better off. That previous blow had exhausted all his energy, and he was now frantically gasping for air. Yin Luo took a deep breath and suddenly took out a jade tile. When Long Chen saw that jade tile, his expression immediately changed. That jade tile's appearance was the same as the jade pendant his parents had left for him. Only the color was different, as Yin Luo's was white while Long Chen's was violet. This fellow's trying to run. Stop him. Mo Nian recognized what that jade tile was. He quickly shot out an arrow. However, Mo Nian was completely out of spiritual key now. It was impossible for him to condense any powerful arrows. So that arrow he shot out was no more powerful than an ordinary arrow. It was completely useless. Yin Luo coldly snorted and took a single step to dodge. He just managed to squeeze out a single strand of spiritual key from his weary body and then crushed the jade tile. Sending that strand of spiritual key inside it, the jade tile lit up, and space erupted. A transparent spatial door gradually appeared behind him. He had actually managed to open a teleportation portal. 
Only now did Long Chen recover from his shock at seeing that jade tile. He quickly picked up Devil Decapitator and rushed over at Yun Luo. He was already out spiritual key, and Chu Yao's leaves had disappeared from his back, but he still had a bit of physical energy left. As long as he could reach Yun Luo, he would simply slash him to death. Yun Luo was truly too terrifying. If Mo Nian had not joined hands with him to block that last attack, he would have very likely lost his life. He definitely couldn't give up this opportunity to kill him. That was why he pushed himself so hard to reach him in time. Yun Luo smiled at Long Chen mockingly, sneering. Long Chen, I'll remember you. Next time, I'll definitely take your life. Although Long Chen's eardrums were still broken from that collision and couldn't hear anything, he could easily tell from his expression that he was acting pompous. Little Snow, kill him. Although his spiritual energy was exhausted, his spiritual strength was still present. He immediately connected to Little Snow who was still fighting fiercely in the distance. Receiving Long Chen's message, Little Snow didn't hesitate to rush over. When he was close enough, he shot out a huge wind blade. Yin Luo had just finished speaking. Icily glancing from Long Chen to Mo Nian, he made a gesture of cutting their throats before moving to step into the teleportation portal. But before he could, a huge wind blade shot out. It went without saying that Yin Luo was definitely a top expert. Even after such a huge battle, even after his spiritual perception had dropped to its weakest state, he still sensed the wind blade the instant before it reached him and raised his spear. Boom. If it was during a normal time, Yin Luo might have been able to ignore Little Snow's attack. But now he was so weak that he was sent flying by Little Snow's wind blade. Tumbling through the air. Without wasting a moment, Long Chen rushed after him. The horrified Yin Luo watched as Long Chen's saber viciously fell on him. Chapter 264 Terrifying Hand Translator Born to be Yun Luo had never, ever imagined that he would fall into such a desperate plight in such a place. All he could do was raise his golden spear to block Long Chen's saber. Sparks shot out. When it came to physical strength, Long Chen would definitely not fear anyone. The instant their weapons collided, the webbing of Yun Luo's hand split apart and he wasn't able to keep a hold of his spear. It turned into a ray of golden light that flew over a mile away. Long Chen also didn't have it much better. He was forced back several steps, his arms shaking, and a dull pain coming from his hand. Now Yun Luo was without his golden spear while facing Long Chen with his terrifying physical body. Yun Luo had just used his Xi'anchen essence blood to control a trace of natural energy. He had thought he would be able to kill the two of them with that attack. However, neither of them had died, while he had ended up running out of spiritual key and receiving a backlash from the natural energy. Although that wasn't severe, if he didn't handle it timely, it would end up having a heavy impact on his foundation. Now that Long Chen was forced back, Yin Luo was much closer to the teleportation portal. He abandoned his golden spear and rushed straight to it. You want to run? Leave your life behind. Long Chen coldly snorted. His blood surged and a spear of flowing light appeared in his hands. Now that Long Chen's spiritual key was exhausted and even his physical energy was gone. He could only rely on the Thunder Force in his body. Back when Long Chen had gone through with his crazy plan and used Thunder Force to temper his body, he had found those strange Thunder Force runes flowing through his blood afterwards. Those runes could be considered Long Chen's core runes. They were normally nourished by his blood and they had enough energy in them that he could use them to attack one time without spiritual key. This Thunder Force was his only chance now. With his spiritual exhausted, his pill flame was out of fuel and was unusable. The main reason Long Chen hadn't used his Thunder Force yet was that he didn't want to reveal his trump cards. Another reason was because these runes exhausted Long Chen's blood energy. It would be a long time before he could use his Thunder Force after this. Or perhaps he would have to go gather more Thunder Force in order to let his runes recover. Either way, Long Chen had been unwilling to use this move. But now seeing Yun Luo about to step into the teleportation portal, he had to do something even if he was unwilling. His lightning spear left his hand growing larger and flying out like a phoenix at Yun Luo. Now that it had spread out instead of remaining concentrated, its power was actually weakened. However, Long Chen was helpless about that. That lightning was from heaven and earth thunder force. Although it had condensed within Long Chen's body, it was still like a berserk magical beast. It always refused to completely submit. As soon as it left his hand, it began to escape his restrictions, attacking instinctively. Yin Luo felt his body tighten and his hair stand on end. A strong air of death immediately enveloped him. He was unable to hold back his horror upon seeing that lightning shooting at him. A yellow paper immediately appeared in his hand. 
That yellow paper was only the size of a palm. There were strange lines on top of it. They seemed like words, but not words. They seemed like images, yet not images. It was extremely bizarre. Yin Luo immediately crushed it in his hand and a translucent shield of light covered him. Long Chen's thunder force had been condensed into a spear while he had held it, but while flying out, it had spread out into the shape of a phoenix. When it reached Yin Luo, it was a complete mess of chaotic strands. Lightning lit up the sky, so incredibly bright that people had no choice but to turn away. Loud thunder rolls continuously rang out, mixed with a muffled groan. When the golden light scattered, people saw that the shield of light Yin Luo had summoned from that yellow paper had protected him. However, now his body was chaired black and his clothes were rags. His long hair was completely singed and his body was quivering. Long Chen, I'll remember you. Just you wait. Yin Luo clenched his teeth. That was the first time he had been forced into such a destitute state. He was so angry he thought he would explode. But he knew he was already at the end of the line. He had to run. Otherwise, he would undoubtedly die. I'm pretty impatient. So let's not wait. I'll just kill you now. Long Chen rushed at Yun Luo with Devil Decapitator. However, now Long Chen felt as if his legs had been filled with lead, and Devil Decapitator was even heavier than a mountain. Long Chen had already used up all his spiritual ki, physical energy, and even his blood energy, other than his spiritual strength. He was completely on his last legs. His current speed was probably not much faster than an ordinary non-cultivator. And yet, even despite that, he refused to give up. At this speed, he would definitely not be able to arrive at Yun Luo fast enough. But he knew that a certain someone would definitely not just watch. An arrow shot straight at Yun Luo's back. It was completely silent, as if it was an arrow from a death god. But Yun Luo seemed to have eyes at the back of his head. And without even turning back, he dodged to the side. But Yun Luo had forgotten one thing. He was already completely exhausted. And so there was no way he could be as nimble as before. Despite dodging at the first moment. He was still struck in the shoulder. Mo Nian's spiritual energy was already exhausted, but this arrow contained all his remaining power. Yin Luo's shoulder burst apart, and his arm almost fell. Yin Luo let out a pained groan as he staggered, but clenching his teeth, he still stepped back towards the teleportation portal. He stuck his head in, but before the rest of his body entered, Devil Decapitator mercilessly slashed down. Blood flew, accompanied by a miserable scream. One of Yun Luo's legs had been completely severed off. Long Chen, Mo Nian, you two bastards better wait for me. I, Yun Luo, swear to cut you into a thousand pieces. The large teleportation portal shrunk down, and Yun Luo's voice became indistinct. But that hatred in his voice truly caused people to shiver in fear. Mo Nian used his bow as a crutch as he laboriously walked over to Long Chen. Looking at that leg, he smiled slightly. A leg's not bad. Do you want it? Long Chen put away Devil Decapitator and sat on the ground. He didn't even have the slightest bit of energy anymore. He shook his head. Why would I want this? Although my appetite's not bad, I really don't think I could manage to swallow this thing. This little fellow really was worthy of being a top expert of the corrupt path. His body contains Xi'anshan essence blood, making this leg quite the treasure. Mo Nian didn't have any hesitation and picked up Yun Luo's leg. He was just about to say something when the teleportation portal that had been about to shrink to nothing suddenly violently expanded. A heaven-encompassing hand appeared, and a large finger hundreds of meters long jabbed down on the two of them. Long Chen and Mo Nian were horrified, and it wasn't just them. Other than Tu Fang and Gui Yan, everyone else was completely overwhelmed with horror, unable to move in the slightest in front of that large hand. It was as if the entire world had frozen. Even all their breathing and heartbeats had stopped. In front of that hand, they could only wait to die. It looked just like a huge divinity's hand. Just its finger almost caused heaven and earth to break down. If Long Chen and Mo Nian were hit, not even their bones would remain. Mo Nian suddenly roared and a mark appeared in the space between his eyebrows. Mo Nian just barely managed to resist the pressure enough to touch his spatial ring. A scale half a foot long appeared in Mo Nian's hand. As soon as it appeared, Mo Nian spit out a mouthful of blood onto it. The scale instantly absorbed his blood and grew larger, becoming a huge shield. At the same time, it released a green light to protect Long Chen. That scale came from an ancient, terrifying magical beast. Its defensive strength was shocking. An expert of the talisman Dao had refined and carved runes onto this scale to increase its defensive strength even further. It had been given to Mo Nian by one of his elders for protection. 
even experts on the level of Gui Yan wouldn't be able to break it. That huge hand descended, breaking apart the vast sky. Long Chen felt a terrifying energy hit him, and the green scale instantly shattered. Space seemed to have torn apart. Long Chen felt as if his body was about to pull apart along with it, and he and Mo Nian shot out like two cannonballs. They tumbled through the air for several kilometers before stopping. The two of them both vomited out blood, intense pain racking their body, feeling like they were about to collapse. That large hand was too powerful. If it weren't for that treasure Mo Nian's elder had gifted him, the two of them would have been crushed to pieces. And yet, even with that powerful scale, the two of them had still almost died. Long Chen was absolutely horrified. Just what kind of monster was that? The entire battlefield had been suppressed to the point that no one was moving. Seeing that this first attack hadn't killed them, that large hand suddenly formed a huge heavenly palm in the air and viciously slammed down on the two of them. Wu Li, your claw has really stretched far today. Suddenly a clear voice rang out, sounding as it had come from above the nine heavens. A sword cut apart the blue dome of the sky, slashing down on that hand. Chapter 265 Sword Key Surges into the Sky Translator Born to be Wu Li, your claw has really stretched far today. A sword cut apart the blue dome of the sky, slashing down on that hand. That was a sword image that contained a heaven-toppling sword will, slashing onto that huge hand. That hand was almost split in two. Long Chen was surprised to see that blood actually dripped from that seemingly illusory hand. Ling Yun Zi. An angry roar rang out from the teleportation portal as that hand retreated back within. People then noticed there was also a teleportation portal behind Tu Fang now. In front of that portal was a certain figure. That figure wasn't solid. In fact, it looked like a figure come straight out of fantasy. But its form was the exact same as the Zhuanshan Monastery sect leader. Ling Yunzis held his hands behind his back, speaking back to the opposing teleportation portal. Wu Li, it's been 30 years. You're becoming more and more pathetic. You actually attacked a group of little children? What happened to that pride of yours? Although it was just an illusory figure, Ling Yunzi's figure still contained a domineering sword intent. He now looked like an unsheathed sword, his sharpness so chilling that it would cause the world to shiver. Because of Ling Yunzi's appearance, the pressure radiating from that huge hand was finally repelled by his sword intent, allowing everyone to breathe again. However, now everyone was completely covered in sweat their faces pale as paper, in front of that huge hand, they had all thought they would die, Ling Yun Zi, I wouldn't have thought that you'd have condensed a spiritual body, a surprised roar came from the other side of the teleportation portal, Ling Yun Zi's spiritual body was more accurately a spiritual clone, it was something that could be condensed after entering the Xi'anshan realm when a person's spiritual strength reached a certain pinnacle, such a spiritual clone contained 10% of the true body's combat strength, it was an essential tool for experts to help support their junior generation. However, it wasn't every Xi'anshan expert who could condense a spiritual clone. Not only did it require powerful spiritual strength, but it also required an extremely rare talent. It's not like I can be as pathetic as you, bullying the junior generation all day. Ling Yunzi sneered, his voice filled with disdain. Ling Yunzi, are you trying to provoke me? An angry roar came from his opponent, I suppose. Unfortunately, you no longer have the qualifications to fight me. Scram. Ling Yunzi snorted and his sword once more swept out. Sword key slashed down on that teleportation portal. That teleportation portal faded back to heaven and earth after being struck by Ling Yunzi. As it broke down, it was possible to hear an angry roar coming from the other side, but it was too indistinct to hear what it said. After destroying that teleportation portal, Ling Yunzi's gaze swept over the battlefield his gaze finally lighting on Long Chen. Although his spirit clone's body was indistinct, Long Chen could sense he was looking at him. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, well done. You really haven't disappointed me. Ling Yunzi laughed and then stepped back into his teleportation portal, disappearing from people's view. The teleportation portal faded along with it, and the crowd descended into complete silence. No one had expected that the battle this time would end up having Xi'anshan experts involved. Everyone was completely shocked. Although that black hand and Ling Yunzi had only released three attacks in total, that kind of destructive power awed them all. This was a Xi'anshan expert? They were definitely too terrifying. In front of their strength, everyone else were just ants, unable to receive a single blow. Once Ling Yunzi had left, Ji Yui Yan knew that it was already a foregone conclusion that they had miserably lost. Three of their favored had died. 
one had his courage broken and was only retreating, while the last one had had his leg severed. This was an absolute humiliation, but the circumstances were pressing. There was no longer any way for him to reverse this battle. Retreat. Following Ji Yui Yan's orders, the remaining 1,000 corrupt disciples began to retreat in relief. You think you can retreat just like this? Brothers, kill them all. Their spatial rings still contain the heads of our fallen brothers. We have to take them back. We can't let our brothers die without a full corpse. Seeing that the righteous paths experts, from disciples to elders, actually didn't move to stop any of them, Long Chen roared out angrily. Those disciples who had just been about to cheer in victory suddenly heard Long Chen's shout. Without even thinking about it, they began attacking the corrupt disciples again. Bastards, you're breaking the rules. The corrupt path had already retreated declaring their defaturing according to the previous tacit agreement. The victor was not to chase. And so Long Chen really was breaking the rules. Shocking and infuriating Ji Yui Yan. Tu Fang also felt that this was inappropriate. He was about to stop it. But then after a moment's thought, he icily shouted, Long Chen is the commander of this battle. I have no authority to meddle. Ji Yui Yan raged. Bullshit. Do you think I'm an idiot? You self-acclaimed bastards from the righteous path are clearly not abiding the rules. He could only watch as his disciples below were crazily chased by the righteous disciples. The corrupt disciples' morale had already been broken, and they couldn't form the slightest bit of effective resistance. They were killed one after another. You farting old ghost. Shut your ass. Don't stink up the air with your farts. Long Chen didn't have any energy to kill others, but he still had his spiritual strength. That was definitely enough to curse others. If you want to talk about breaking rules, then it was you guys who broke the rules first. That shameless old fellow actually passed through a teleportation portal to attack me. Why didn't you talk about the rules then? Now that it's disadvantageous for you, you now start talking about the rules? Are your faces made of leather? You actually can say such shameless words? Brothers, cut them down. And don't just cut them. Cut them to death. Kill. Those righteous disciples were completely exhausted with quite a few people tottering on the verge of collapse. They had already overdrafted their strength. And yet, Long Chen's words were like stimulants for them, activating all their nerves. Those corrupt disciples' faces still looked malevolent and sinister, but now there was also terror on their faces. That view excited them greatly. In the past, everyone had told them that corrupt disciples were savage, cruel, terrifying, and were dauntless in the face of death. But now, because of them, they were fleeing like rats. That was an absolute honor for them. With this honor in front of them, even their lives didn't seem as important. They all charged out recklessly to kill them. What they didn't know was that they had long since reached their limit. They were relying solely on their willpower to keep fighting. There were tens of core disciples who were completely focused on killing that they hadn't even realized a faint mark had appeared on their forehead. That mark was constantly sending energy into their bodies, allowing them to continue. They might not have noticed that. But the elders watching all saw it. They were completely shocked. And quite a few of them even began to cry. Those elders mostly came from smaller sects. Those core disciples were perhaps their own family members. Back when they had seen the Zhuanshan Monastery's core disciples had awakened their ancestral marks and how powerful they were. They had been filled with shock and envy. Now their own family's disciples had awakened their ancestral marks. How could they not go crazy with joy? The entire battlefield became a complete mess because of Long Chen's words. Fierce battles reigniting everywhere. The corrupt path's elders and senior disciples wanted to go save their new disciples. But the righteous path's people naturally wouldn't allow that so easily. Long Chen, what do you want to stop? Ji Yui Yan was alarmed and infuriated. Yet he was also helpless. He could only clench his teeth. That was because he saw that if this massacre continued and if their experts were unable to break through the righteous path's blockade, then this entire new generation of corrupt disciples would be completely slaughtered within an hour. Novaloon.com have all your disciples hand over their spatial rings so we can take our brother's heads back. Said Long Chen these corrupt disciples had done it differently than their righteous disciples. They were only out for their own selfish profit. And so the first thing they did after killing a righteous disciple was to cut off their head and place it in their spatial ring. They weren't like the righteous disciples who waited till the end of the battle to sweep through the prophets. They refused to divide their gains evenly with others. After all, righteous disciples' heads could be exchanged for generous rewards for them. There were definitely many heads from righteous disciples in the corrupt disciples' spatial rings. 
And that was why these righteous disciples had listened to Long Chen's call and were fighting so recklessly now, despite being exhausted. Everyone had brothers, everyone had companions. Once a companion died, although there was no way to revive them, they had to at least snatch back their heads. What nonsense. Our disciples' spatial rings also contain all the treasures they've gathered over the years. How could we possibly give them to you? We'll only give you the heads. Ji Yui Yan was incredibly infuriated. But in the end, he still compromised, agreeing to hand over the righteous disciples' heads. Nonsense must be your strong point. Don't think everyone is as stupid as you. They have to hand over all their spatial rings. Or how could we know whether or not you've secretly kept some heads? Do you think I'm an idiot like you? Long Chen coldly snorted, not yielding a single step. This is too much. You're committing a great violation against the rules. Ji Yui Yan was so pissed off that he was quivering from rage. Long Chen disdainfully snorted. So what if it's too much? What are you going to do about it? Those so-called rules are just game rules the weak gave to the strong. Don't try to play any word games with me, as that'll really piss me off. If there were really rules, then how come the time and location of all the righteous and corrupt battles are chosen by you guys? If there were really rules, for what reason must we always passively defend against your beatings? For what reason do those helpless commoners have to be massacred arbitrarily by you guys? Fuck your granny. Can you fucking give me a single explanation? When Long Chen thought of those innocent commoners that had been slaughtered helplessly by them, his eyes turned completely red. He pointed at Ji Yui Yan and roared, Isn't it just because you were stronger that you felt yourselves as the dictators of the rules? When we were weak, you talked with your fists. And when we're strong, you want to talk about rules with me. Go sheet yourself you old sheethead. The righteous paths experts all felt years of suppressed anger relieve itself as Long Chen cursed. Long Chen's cursing really was extremely satisfying to them. Ji Yui Yan began to fume, wanting to bite Long Chen to death. But with Tu Fang keeping a close eye on him, he didn't dare make a move. I'll agree to let you examine our disciples' spatial rings. We definitely won't hide any heads. Ji Yui Yan finally had no choice but to swallow his anger. He couldn't let all his disciples be completely slaughtered. But Long Chen's reply almost really made him explode. Chapter 266 End of the Great Battle Translator Born to be sorry, my shop hasn't been doing too well lately, and I really can't lower my price like that. How about this? I'm not that unreasonable. I'll give you three hours to slowly consider whether or not you want to take my prize. Don't worry, I'm not impatient, said Long Chen. Ji Yui Yan almost fainted from rage. His disciples wouldn't even be able to last an hour, let alone three. This was clearly him refusing to let them off. Now there were less than 500 corrupt disciples left. As for the righteous disciples facing them, they were still fighting strongly and their numbers were barely dropping by now. Fine, I agree to your conditions. Hurry up and stop, roared Ji Yui Yan furiously. Hearing Ji Yui Yan's voice, the corrupt disciples sighed in relief, lowering their weapons. But those righteous disciples still didn't stop. In just an instant, over ten corrupt disciples were cut down, their expressions filled with bewilderment, a single thought floating in their minds. Isn't it already over? Why'd you still kill me? I'm sorry, what did you say? I couldn't hear it. Long Chen tilted his head to him. Bastard. I said I agreed to your terms. Stop. Ji Yui Yan's anger soared. His hair standing on end. His face green from fury. His angry roar caused the entire battlefield to shake. Oh. Now I can hear you. Ah. So sorry. Brothers. Stop attacking and fall back. Only then did Long Chen shout out his orders. In reality. He also wished to completely exterminate all these corrupt disciples. But that would not be strategically smart. These corrupt disciples were Ji Yui Yan's final hope. If they were completely killed, Ji Yui Yan really wouldn't have any misjivings and would go completely crazy. And in his craziness, it would not be possible for Tu Fang to completely block him. Once Ji Yui Yan went completely crazy, just the aftershocks of his attacks would be able to slaughter these junior disciples. And so killing all the remaining corrupt disciples wasn't worth it. Long Chen knew that was what Ji Yui Yan had to be thinking and so he only angered him to the perfect point. These remaining 500 people would be left behind as a slight hope for the corrupt path. After all, after experiencing such a huge battle, these remaining disciples were all elites amongst elites. There was still a chance for them to rise again. So Long Chen was leaving them alive to prevent Ji Yui Yan going crazy, keeping more of the righteous disciples alive. As for whether there really was a chance of them rising again, 
Long Chen didn't really care. In any case, his goal had been achieved. On the battlefield, he would be an undefeatable warrior going all out to kill his opponents. But as a leader, he had to remain his calm, making sure to calculate everything. That was why he preferred to battle rather than scheme. It was much more satisfying for him to resolve his problems with his fists rather than with his head. Following Long Chen's voice, the Righteous Path's disciples withdrew to stand by Long Chen. Only then did the corrupt disciples completely relax. Over half their number collapsed on the ground panting, while another portion of them simply fainted. Their bodies and mental strength had been pushed to the absolute limit during that battle. Following the junior disciples' battle ceasing, the senior disciples and elders also stopped. Tang Wan'er supported a pale Chu Yao over to Long Chen. Long Chen was extremely distressed to see her like that. Sorry, I was too much of a spendthrift. I ended up spending up everything before it was over. Long Chen's last attack had used up all of Chu Yao's spiritual key. If he hadn't, he wouldn't have been able to block Yun Luo's final attack that had contained natural energy as well. And so Chu Yao had not only used up all her spiritual energy, but her mind had received an acute impact at the end. Looking at Long Chen, Chu Yao felt a burst of warmth in her heart. Long Chen was still the same Long Chen to her. No matter where he went, he was always the star, radiating a light that not even favored were able to conceal. In her heart, Long Chen was a true hero. No matter how strong she became, Long Chen still didn't fall behind at all. Under his lead, the entire battlefield had reversed perfectly. She gently tidied Long Chen up a bit, fixing his disheveled hair. Her eyes were filled with pride for him. Tu Fang led a bunch of elder and senior disciples over to this side as well. But when Long Chen looked at the crowd, his expression suddenly changed. Where's Wild? Wild's giant figure was nowhere to be seen, giving him a fright. Calm down, he's just sleeping, laughed Tang Wan'er. She pointed, showing him there were eight disciples carrying a huge wooden bed. Wild was snoring loudly on top of it. Wild had managed to kill the hatchet wielding favored, but immediately after, the red light faded from his body and he fell asleep. No matter what they did, he wouldn't wake up. Although Long Chen didn't know what exactly was going on, it was obvious it had to do with that abnormal state Wild had been in. It was as if something had awoken within Wild while he had been fighting. Long Chen didn't know what it was, but as long as Wild was okay, it was fine. Looking over everyone, Long Chen's heart sunk. As he had expected, the fighting had been extremely cruel. It was impossible for everyone to manage to survive. Of their original 3,000 righteous disciples, only a thousand remained. The monastery had come into this battle with over 1,700 disciples, but now, they numbered less than 800. Although he had long since anticipated such a bitter result, the number of casualties had been even greater than he had thought. That number represented the lives of his friends, brothers, comrades. Long Chen saw that many familiar faces had disappeared forever gone from this world, that caused Long Chen such pain and anger that he angrily roared at the corrupt path's experts, what are you bastards still waiting for, hurry up and hand over all your spatial rings, if anyone dares try to hide any, we'll immediately start fighting again, not resting till death, Long Chen had been mostly calm this entire time, but his eyes had turned completely red after he had looked over everyone who had returned, and everyone who had not, how could the righteous disciples not know what Long Chen was thinking? Whether it was the monastery's disciples or the other righteous disciples, they all felt Long Chen was a true, 100% man. Despite being so powerful, he didn't have any of that lofty, solitary mannerism of an expert. Instead, he was someone who treated each of his friends as a brother. Despite Long Chen doing his best to cover up his pain, everyone could tell how deeply affected he was inside. No rest till death. No rest till death no rest till death, the righteous disciples, who had only just calmed down, once more erupted in anger, clenching their weapons tightly, they seemed like a pack of ferocious animals, viciously glaring at the corrupt disciples, Ji Yui Yan had actually been intent on bargaining the price down when he saw the battle calm down, but now seeing that the slightest spark might cause a final, all-out massacre, he hastily ordered the corrupt disciples to hand over their spatial rings, those corrupt disciples all sighed sorrowfully. The rules of the world had changed now. These righteous disciples definitely far, far surpassed the corrupt disciples in terms of fierceness. Only once all the corrupt disciples handed over their spatial rings did the righteous disciples finally calm down slightly. All of you just wait. This isn't over. Ji Yan viciously glared at Long Chen before bringing the corrupt disciples away. 
their originally grand and vast army had truly been decimated this time. Of over 20,000 new disciples, they only managed to leave with 500 alive. This was an unprecedented defeat ring for them. Long Chen, you should keep this golden spear. Song Mingyuan and Luo Kang walked over, carrying Yun Luo's golden spear. Long Chen knew this was a spirit weapon and was extremely powerful, but in terms of heaviness, it was slightly lower than Devil Decapitator. Furthermore, he was unaccustomed to using a spear. He said to Mo Nian, how about you take this as your spoils of war? You'll be able to justify yourself with this once you return. From what Mo Nian had said, Long Chen knew that he had actually run away from home in hopes of defeating Yun Luo. Unfortunately, Yun Luo was just too powerful. Even with the two of them joining hands, they were unable to kill him. And in truth, it wasn't just the two of them joining hands, but three. If it hadn't been for Chu Yao, Long Chen and Mo Nian would both have died under Yun Luo's final attack containing natural energy. Even with the three of them working together, they were still unable to make him stay behind. Mo Nian and Long Chen felt a bit helpless about that. They had no choice but to admit Yun Luo was too powerful. I already have my spoils of war. What could be better than this? Mo Nian was no longer as indifferent as before. Holding Yun Luo's severed leg, he proudly stroked it a couple times. Everyone shivered in repulsion. He was looking at that leg like it was a tender, lovable leg of a beauty that had enchanted him. Weighing this spear, Long Chen sensed it was 30% lighter than Devil Decapitator. If he hadn't had a weapon advantage during his fight with Yun Luo, it might not have been possible for him to force him back. Sinking into thought for a moment, he thought to himself that there was no one else within this new generation of disciples who was capable of wielding it. But then he realized that there was one person. Gu Yang, shouted Long Chen. Gu Yang walked over from out of the crowd. His broken arms and other injuries had already been healed by the Skywood Palace's experts. Other than his spiritual key being exhausted, he was completely fine. You're also specialized in strength. You can have this spear. Try it. Long Chen held out the spear to Gu Yang. Gu Yang's eyes reddened slightly. He wanted to take it, and yet he also didn't dare to take it. Long Chen, I, stop wasting words and take it. This thing's too heavy and my arm's getting sore. Long Chen straightforwardly pushed the spear into Gu Yang's arms. Gu Yang stumbled back several steps from its incredible weight before being able to stabilize himself. Gu Yang was incredibly moved. Even in his entire family, they only had a single treasure on the same level as this spear. But Long Chen had simply directly given it to him. He had once forced Long Chen into a land of absolute death. And yet Long Chen didn't hold the slightest grudge anymore. Even with Gu Yang's haughty nature, his eyes brimmed with tears. Long Chen, I, you don't need to say anything about giving your heart to me. I'm sure you already know what kind of man I am. I only like beautiful women. Long Chen hastily shook his head, not wanting to hear Gu Yang's emotional words. Everyone couldn't help but to laugh. Tang Wan Er blushed, stealthily glancing at Chu Yao. She saw that Chu Yao was just laughing without the slightest anger. Since the battle's over, I should also return. Mo Nian walked over to Long Chen. Chapter 267 Condemnation Translator Born to be Long Chen was startled. Why are you in such a rush? Didn't you say you wanted to get a drink first? A peerless genius like Mo Nian was fated to be lonely. The feeling of being peerless was not as great as everyone thought. Within the same generation, it was almost impossible to have a single good friend. That kind of feeling was not a pleasant one. Both chickens and eagles grow up from being chicks. But as time passes, the eagle is destined to spread its wings and soar into the sky. That was why although he had been extremely unwilling, he had had no choice but to leave behind Shi Fang, Fatty Yu, Xiao Hao, and the others back in Phoenix Cry. They were destined to not be able to stay together forever. Cultivation was a path of no retreat. Once you stepped onto that path, you had no choice but to continue advancing. There was no chance to turn back. But if you could have a couple genuine brothers with you on this path, then it would definitely be much more enjoyable. However, such people were really just too hard to find. If the only ones beside Long Chen were weaklings, there was no way he could take care of them forever. Once danger appeared, Long Chen couldn't protect them all the time. He would only be able to watch as they unwillingly died one by one. That kind of feeling was too painful. That was why Long Chen would normally act so frivolous and juvenile, acting as if he didn't have a care in the world. But in reality, Long Chen was somewhat afraid to care too much. He was afraid to see those close to him die. Mo Nian was the only person he had encountered so far who could also stand high above his peers as well. 
And at the end, Mo Nian had even taken out his precious treasure to block that terrifying hand, saving his life. Long Chen really did want to make friends with Mo Nian, so seeing he wanted to leave so quickly was definitely saddening to him. Mo Nian laughed. Those old fellows always scolded me for not living up to their expectations. They said if I didn't properly cultivate, I'd be thrown behind sooner or later by others. In reality, I never accepted that. Back when I was just 10, I secretly ran off and eliminated a whole bandit stronghold. By myself, I killed over 300 bandits. Back then, I was only at the ninth event stage of key condensation. And yet I was able to kill those blood condensation bandits as easily as slaughtering chickens. From then on, whenever they scolded me, I would always be so incredibly infuriated that I would run off to act as some wandering knight. I've definitely run into a few dangerous situations. However, I never met a single person in the same realm who could block more than three of my arrows. Now that I've met you and Yun Luo, I definitely feel a sense of crisis from the two of you. That's especially true of you, Long Chen. You really are a monster. Although you had your comrade's assistance in the end, your potential really is absolutely limitless. Even I'm afraid of it. I've received many benefits from this battle. When I get back, I will enter seclusion so that I won't get thrown off by you. Everyone was startled. Mo Nian, who was incredibly powerful, was actually feeling a great deal of pressure from Long Chen. Mo Nian was so powerful that he had shocked everyone. All alone, he had been able to fight against Yun Luo, a once-in-a-thousand-year genius from the corrupt path. Long Chen nodded. He understood what Mo Nian meant. After experiencing such a large battle, he had naturally gained some insights. If he then went into seclusion to consolidate those insights, that would be extremely beneficial to his future. He definitely couldn't miss this golden period. Long Chen, you are definitely now one of my, Mo Nian's, good friends. If you have time, come to King Prefecture to find me. Anyone will be able to tell you where to find my Mo Gate. But after he said that, he then realized it was a bit unsuitable and added, However, I'd advise you not to come now. The Jiuli secret realm will quickly open. Your Su Prefecture also has an entrance, and you'll definitely have to attend. You are definitely powerful, but at that time, all seven prefectures top geniuses will gather. Countless righteous and corrupt disciples will be present. With your current cultivation base, you'll definitely end up suffering. You should hurry and break through to tendon transformation. Long Chen was slightly surprised. He had heard of the Jiuli secret realm, and it seemed like a very mysterious existence. He hadn't expected Mo Nian to know about it as well. Seven prefectures experts would all participate in the opening of the Jiuli secret realm? Long Chen didn't even know what kind of concept a prefecture was, but he could guess that a single prefecture must span a frighteningly large area of land. Long Chen bitterly smiled. I'll do my best. Of course he wanted to break through to tendon transformation, but he sensed that for some unknown reason, he was currently at a complete bottleneck. That bottleneck kept him completely locked at blood condensation. And most irritating of all, he had no idea what this bottleneck was from or how to break through it. Long Chen simply knew too little about the nine-star hegemon body art. He would need to grope around its mysteries to advance faster. That Yun Luo is incredibly terrifying. The most terrifying part about him isn't his talent, but how ruthless the corrupt path has been. I suspect that his sect sacrificed one of their own Xi'anshan experts for him. They transplanted that Xi'anshan expert's Xi'anshan essence blood into his body. Due to the limits of his cultivation base, he can still only use a trace of that Xi'anshan essence blood's energy. Furthermore, based on what I saw, he should have only just gained that essence blood and so his control is still extremely low. But with a bit more time, his cultivation base will grow higher and he'll grow more familiar with his Xi'anshan essence blood. That will be when he is most terrifying. Don't think that because you severed a leg that he won't be able to enter bone forging. His body will easily recover with the assistance of spirit pills. If we don't take advantage of our time to cultivate, then once we encounter him in the Jiuli secret realm, we'll be the ones to die. Mo Nian's voice was extremely grave. His words caused all of them, even Tu Fang, to have their hearts pound wildly. They had sacrificed a Xi'anshan expert for a genius? That was incredibly ruthless. Most likely only the corrupt path would be able to do that. Even Tu Fang, who was at the peak of Meridian opening, was only able to slightly sense natural energy, let alone use it for his own purposes. That was because his body had yet to take that final step, transforming from Haoshan to Xi'anshan. He, along with everyone else present, was rejected from doing so by heaven and earth. 
Zianshan experts were practically gods in the eyes of these people, but for a single disciple, the corrupt path had sacrificed such a godlike existence, that caused everyone to feel a chill. At the same time, their terror of Yun Luo increased even further. He had yet to even refine his Zianshan essence blood, but he was already so powerful. Once he became used to the Zianshan essence blood in his body, would there still be someone capable of subduing him? Even Long Chen felt a great deal of pressure. The only reason he had been able to fight on the same level as Mo Nian and Yun Luo this time was because of Chu Yao. Without her sharing her spiritual key with him, Long Chen would have already died to that corrupt elder, let alone Yun Luo. I'm going to go now. Let's meet again in the Jiuli secret realm. We'll have a proper drink then. Mo Nian took out a jade tablet. That jade tile was also made of white jade and emitted a spiritual fluctuation. Seeing Long Chen staring intently at his jade tablet, Mo Nian thought he had never seen such a magical trick, and so he laughed. This jade tablet is called a teleportation jade. A Zianshan expert used their spiritual strength to carve extremely powerful runes inside it. Once activated, it will be able to open a teleportation portal for a short period of time for long-distance travel. Due to the powerful spiritual strength within the teleportation jade, not only can it be used to open a teleportation portal, it also has a spiritual calming effect, allowing people to quickly enter a meditative state. So its other name is Soul Calming Jade. All large sects have it, but this little plaything is somewhat precious, and so some stingy fellows aren't willing to give them out. After speaking, Mo Nian inserted his spiritual strength into the jade tablet. The jade lit up with brilliant light opening a spatial door in midair. That door was over 30 meters tall and semi-translucent. Runes densely covered it, and it almost looked like a solid door. Goodbye. Mo Nian said a single goodbye to Long Chen before stepping into the spatial door, completely disappearing. Once Mo Nian faded away, the spatial door also faded. Long Chen's heart was pounding wildly. He stealthily clenched his own jade pendant that his parents had left for him. It was his only clue to unraveling the mysteries around his origin. Tightly clenching that jade pendant, he sensed that as long as he inserted his spiritual strength into it, he would immediately be able to find out the truth. But Long Chen still remembered that huge river that had been cut open by a single expert slash. According to his current understanding, only an expert at the Xi'anshan realm could possibly possess that strength. Furthermore, that powerful figure had then sacrificed his life, using the empty Dao transformation technique to conceal his tracks. Before he had sacrificed himself, he had left behind a single warning for him. If he was unable to stand at the peak of the martial path, then he was not to investigate his origin. Clenching that jade pendant, Long Chen had an urge to immediately unravel this whole mystery. But there was a voice that came from the depths of his soul that told him if he did activate this jade pendant, he would definitely die. Only a couple breaths passed. Yet to Long Chen, they felt like years. In the end. He decided to trust his intuition and put away his jade pendant. Wonor, can you help me out? Go bring back the blood left behind by that huge hand, said Long Chen. Tang Wonor was curious, but she nodded. Going over to the edge of the battlefield, Ling Yunzi's sword had injured that huge hand, causing a large drop of blood to land there. Watching Tang Wonor's figure going into the distance, Chu Yao smiled at Long Chen and winked. This big sister seems to listen to you closely. Long Chen blushed in embarrassment. In the monastery, he normally felt closest to Tang Wanur, so without even thinking about it, he had called out to her. Haha, it's not like I said anything about it. What are you so red for? What are you collecting that blood for? Chu Yao reached out to hold Long Chen's hand, laughing, just to make some nice soup. Long Chen was relieved that Chu Yao wasn't actually angry and joked, as if anyone would believe that. Chu Yao rolled her eyes at Long Chen, since he didn't want to say, she wouldn't force it. That blood wasn't Xi'anshan essence blood, but it did contain Xi'anshan spiritual key. To most people, that was essentially useless. But as a pill cultivator with pill god memories, that blood was a priceless treasure to Long Chen. After a moment, Tang Wan'er came back with a large jug half filled with blood. Surprisingly, that blood hadn't dissolved into the earth, but had kept the shape of a spherical bead. It had just lain on the ground, releasing a powerful pressure. Long Chen excitedly collected that jug of Xi'anshan blood. All of a sudden, Tu Fang's icy voice rang out. We've won the battle now, but there's still one more matter to handle. Who was it that led that corrupt elder to Long Chen? Chapter 268 Unexpected Translator 
Born to be two Fang's words caused all the elder's expressions to change. Especially Elder Sun Terror appeared in his eyes and he hastily hid himself in the crowd. When he had been fighting that corrupt elder, he had intentionally faked that he wasn't a match for him and had been forced back over and over, leading him towards Long Chen. Then he had been sent flying by a powerful blow and just happened to be become entangled with another corrupt elder. On the chaotic battlefield, he had thought that his actions had been completely perfectly without anyone noticing. He hadn't expected anyone to suspect anything. However, Elder Sun naturally wouldn't admit to it now. If Tu Fang was just guessing and using scare tactics, then if he admit his crime, he really would be an idiot. In any case, he didn't believe that anyone had any proof that he had purposely drew that corrupt elder over. So he acted as if he didn't know what he was talking about. Elder Sun, do you not have anything to say? Tu Fang icily glared at Elder Sun, killing intent surfacing within his eyes. Although Tu Fang had been fighting all out against Ji Yui Yan, both of them had known that it would be impossible for them to kill the other. They had been keeping watch over the battlefield as they had fought. He hadn't seen Elder Sun leading that corrupt elder over to Long Chen, but he had seen that when Long Chen and that corrupt elder had begun fighting, it had been Elder Sun who had been the closest. Although he had quickly charged at another corrupt elder, Tu Fang had still noticed that, with his knowledge of how Elder Sun had constantly been targeting Long Chen, how could Tu Fang possibly not realize that Elder Sun had set that up? Tu Fang was no longer capable of enduring. Long Chen might be a divergent, and so he couldn't purposefully interfere with his matters or give him any special treatment. But this was no longer special treatment. He would never allow Elder Sun to do such a thing to any of his disciples. With that kind of justification, then even if he handled Elder Sun, he wouldn't be infected by any karma. And so Tu Fang was finally prepared to execute this completely idiotic Elder Sun. Elder Sun's expression changed and he asked, Why would Enforcement Elder say such a thing? Everyone else was startled, looking from Tu Fang and Elder Sun in confusion, not knowing what was going on. Within that crowd, only Long Chen knew the whole story. But currently, Long Chen was pondering over something and didn't say anything. Do you not even know what you've done? Snorted Tu Fang. Disciple doesn't understand. Please explain it clearly enforcement elder. Elder son was panicked inside, but he still acted confused. Although the two of them were both elders, Tu Fang was the most senior and most powerful elder in the Zhuanshan monastery. The other elders had to call themselves disciples in front of him to display their respect. Fine then, that corrupt elder was originally your opponent. Why would you be defeated and have to run from him? He was also at the eight temper bone forging level, the same as you. So don't try and tell me that you weren't his match. I silly said to Fang. Elder Sun said with shame. Disciple had a problem with his aura when cultivating a few days ago. Causing damage to my meridians. That caused my combat ability to sharply drop. If enforcement elder does not believe me. You can personally examine it. Disciple is a member of the monastery and has received the monastery's kindness. How could I possibly intentionally harm the monastery's disciples? Elder Sun stubbornly declared he hadn't done it on purpose. Furthermore, as a cunning old fox, he had already made his preparations. During the battle, he had purposely harmed his meridians just for this. There was no way to check at what time the meridians had been injured. In other words, there was no rock-solid proof that he had done it on purpose. Tu Fang sneered, long since knowing Elder Sun would say that. But he had his own secret arts to determine the veracity of Elder Sun's words. Seeing that sneer, Elder Sun felt a chill. If Tu Fang were to determine that he had intentionally harmed Long Chen, then with Tu Fang's upright nature, he would definitely die. Elder Sun began to sweat. Tu Fang was about to continue with Long Chen suddenly interrupted. This matter isn't Elder Sun's fault. The battlefield is constantly chaotic, and no one can make any absolute guarantees. I'll testify that Elder Sun tried to charge over to save me many times, but he was always blocked by the corrupt path's experts. He was also helpless, and so I'd like to ask Elder Tu Fang not to blame Elder Sun although Elder Sun wasn't able to help. I will definitely remember his intentions. Long Chen's words dumbfounded Tu Fang. He wondered if Long Chen had suddenly become an idiot. Was he unable to tell that he had been purposely targeting him? He was pleading for Elder Sun's innocence? Even Elder Sun was stunned. He had definitely never thought Long Chen would go out of his way to help him, but he also wasn't afraid. As long as he stubbornly declared that his meridians had been damaged and he had been weakened, he would be fine. He hadn't left behind any mistakes. Tu Fang didn't know what Long Chen was thinking, but since Long Chen didn't want him to continue looking into this matter, 
he could only drop it. For this corrupt and righteous battle, other than a certain sect, everyone's display was excellent. Tu Fang said to everyone, of course, when he said other than a certain sect, everyone's gazes turned to the Bloodnet sect's assistant sect leader. All of the Bloodnet sect's disciples had fled without a single one remaining behind. Although many other sects had had cowardly disciples who had run, they all had at least a few disciples who had stayed. It was only a question of how many had fled and how many had stayed. But no matter how many or how few, or even whether they had managed to survive, that was still a kind of honor for those sects. The Bloodnet sect's assistant sect leader had no way to refute this at all. Today had really been shameful for him. Long Chen, as the head commander of the battle this time, you announce the rewards and punishments, said Tu Fang. Me, Long Chen was startled. Yes, the sect leader appointed you as commander, so you have the authority. Even I do not have the right to oppose your orders, smiled Tu Fang. Long Chen was amazed. He had thought himself to just be a small disciple of the Zhuanshan Monastery. He hadn't expected his responsibilities to be so heavy now. Seeing everyone looking at him, Long Chen didn't decline and straightforwardly announced, Let's talk about the punishment first. I feel like there's nothing to punish. No one is born with the courage to be unafraid of death. This is more due to how they were raised. So it's not the fault of those disciples. Being afraid of death is natural, and I don't blame them. That's because not one of them was one of my brothers, and so their actions also can't count as betrayal. As for how their own sects handle them, that'll be up to each individual sect our monastery will not interfere. Everyone was shocked. Whether it was in the secular world or the cultivation world, deserters who fled right before battle would all be executed. But Long Chen was just letting them off just like that. Those sect elders were extremely grateful to Long Chen for that, but they also were filled with shame. Long Chen's magnanimity almost made them too ashamed to show their faces. As for rewards, that's whatever. Every single person who is capable of standing beside me are my brothers. We're all willing to give up our lives. So who would care about how much the rewards are? Smiled Long Chen. The righteous disciples were all filled with pride. Being called brother by Long Chen, they felt as if they had suddenly grown much taller. On the battlefield, Long Chen was like a god of war, consecutively killing the top enemy disciples, and then even killing a corrupt elder. He was even able to fight Yun Luo a genius who only appeared once every thousand years, and he had managed to sever one of his legs. To be called brother by this practically unrivel godlike figure, all of them were incredibly moved. They were willing to risk their lives with Long Chen. They wouldn't even hesitate to sacrifice their lives. Looking at those worshipful gazes, Tu Fang sighed emotionally. This was the level of Long Chen's charisma. Those beside him would gladly fight for him. Even the other elders looked at Long Chen with admiration. Long Chen was a natural-born leader. No one else had that kind of bold spirit. When it came to the rewards, even the elders didn't view them so importantly anymore. That was because they saw the newfound determination in their disciples' eyes. They trusted that after experiencing this battle, those disciples would definitely have amazing accomplishments in the future. In fact, that was precisely what Long Chen had said just before the battle. Those who managed to survive would definitely become absolutely amazing experts. That was especially true of those core disciples. They had all awakened their ancestral marks. It would be impossible for them not to become amazing experts. Tu Fang finally decided to act in accordance to the previous years. They would distribute awards to the various sects in accordance to how many living members they had at the end. But those rewards would not be distributed immediately. The monastery would have them send the heads back to the Zhuanshan Super Monastery first and get the rewards from there. As for what to do now. The first thing to do was to clean up the battlefield. They had to gather the corrupt disciples' corpses as well. They couldn't let their corpses just lie there. Once those experts' corpses began to rot, that would release a huge epidemic. They had to be brought away and burned by them. Once the battlefield had been cleaned up, an elder walked over with a certain corpse. Looking at that corpse, everyone was silent for a moment. That corpse was the corrupt elder that Long Chen had killed. Within this region, an eight temper bone forging expert was an expert that only the Zhuanshan Monastery or perhaps the Skywood Palace had the resources to raise. Furthermore, even the monastery only had eight elders who were on the level of this eight temper bone forging elder. Such a powerful existence had died to Long Chen. That shocked everyone. That corpse was collected by Tu Fang. It was the strongest corrupt expert to die during this battle. An eight temper bone forging expert contained a vast amount of life energy. It was extremely difficult to kill them. 
Even if they met another eight temper bone forging expert and were unable to defeat Charingtham, couldn't they just run? So in all the years of battles between the righteous and corrupt paths here, it seemed this was the first time an expert of this level died. And most inconceivable of all was that such an expert hadn't been killed someone in the same realm as him, but by a disciple who was only at the blood condensation realm. Tu Fang decided to send this corpse to the Zhuangshan Supermonastery. If the Zhuangshan Supermonastery were to learn that such an incredibly powerful disciple had appeared in their monastery, they would definitely send down endless resources, grooming Long Chen with their full strength. After cleaning the battlefield, the various sect elders brought their disciples away. But those disciples didn't leave before bowing to Long Chen respectfully. That bow wasn't just because of their respect for him, but because they were incredibly grateful to him. It was Long Chen who had showed them what kind of person was worthy of being called a cultivator. Long Chen was like a shining beacon on their cultivation paths, lighting up their way forward and showing them what they had to do to advance. As for these brave warriors who had just fought a blood-soaked battle, Long Chen really did feel as close to them as brothers. Long Chen waved out to each of them in farewell. Once they had all left, only the monastery's elders and disciples were present. Long Chen suddenly turned to Tu Fang. Elder Tu Fang. I miss my home. I want to return for a bit. Chapter 269 Returning Home Translator Born to be the curtains had set on this righteous and corrupt battle. This battle had shocked both sides. And there was no one who didn't know Long Chen's name. He was praised as Su Prefecture's number one junior generation. Although he was only at the peak of blood condensation, he was unrivaled within the tendon transformation realm. Capable of even consecutively killing favored. That caused a huge wave within the corrupt path. This time, they had achieved an unprecedented level of power and brought several times the number of disciples compared to before. There were even five favored who had appeared at the same time. This generation was acclaimed as their strongest generation. They had expected their disciples to utterly slaughter the righteous disciples. But when Gui Yan brought the remaining, decimated disciples back, the entire corrupt path of this region was dumbfounded. Of over 20,000 disciples, only 500 had returned. Furthermore, three of their favored had died. The one acclaimed as a genius who only appeared once in a thousand years, Yin Luo, had actually had one of his legs severed. That news greatly shocked the corrupt path. They were practically unable to believe this result. After doing a detailed investigation, they finally heard the whole story. Just Long Chen's name struck terror in the hearts of the corrupt disciples now. That was especially true of the corrupt disciples who had managed to survive that battle. Just hearing his name would make them shiver from head to toe. Long Chen's strength caused a great deal of pressure for the corrupt path's experts. The higher-ups of the corrupt path had even held a special meeting just to decide how to handle Long Chen. And the result was that those corrupt path experts all unanimously voted that Long Chen could not be allowed to live. Otherwise, he would definitely pose a fatal threat to them once he matured. They distributed Long Chen's name and picture to all the various corrupt powers and he was placed on their must-kill list. And in fact, this region's corrupt path's high-level members even sent the news up to their higher-ups. After all, the appearance of such a threat had to be told to the higher-ups for them to think of a way to kill him. Long Chen was a disciple of the Zhuangshan Monastery. Being so powerful, he would definitely be cherished and protected. It'd be impossible for them to kill him secretly. This region's corrupt path would need to borrow the strength of the higher-ups to handle this. Yin Luo had quickly grown back his leg with his sect's help. But although his outer wounds had healed, the humiliation he felt practically drove him mad. He had always been acclaimed as a once-in-a-thousand-year genius. He had never met a match in the same realm, and even Favored found it difficult to last even ten exchanges with him. He, who possessed the strength to jump realms and kill experts, had actually had his leg cut off by a blood condensation brat. That kind of humiliation was unacceptable to him. After recovering, Yin Luo went into seclusion. Sending out word that once he left seclusion, he would personally go cut off Long Chen and Mo Nian's heads. Novaloon.com Long Chen didn't care the slightest bit about the righteous and corrupt path's commotion. Currently, he was hurrying to Phoenix Cry, wanting to reunite with everyone. However, Long Chen wasn't alone. Wild, Chu Yao, Tang Wan'er, and Little Snow were with him. Originally, Tang Wan'er hadn't been planning on going back with Long Chen, but for some reason, Chu Yao had pulled her in. Tang Wan'er had had no choice but to follow along with the red face. Long Chen could sense those two girls were acting weird. Whenever he wasn't paying attention, they would always stealthily be whispering about something. 
Long Chen had tried several times to secretly investigate what they were talking about, but he was always noticed by Chu Yao. As a favored, Chu Yao's spiritual strength wasn't much weaker than his own. Furthermore, after absorbing that favored stale mark, Tang Wan'er had managed to miraculously retain its power, also becoming a favored. It was said that favored contained a trace of heaven and earth's karmic luck. Once you became a favored, you would obtain heaven and earth's blessing, allowing you to cultivate twice as fast with half the effort. Tang Wan'er said that after she absorbed that Dao mark and had the assistance of the heavenly Daos, she had begun to feel a much greater affinity for heaven and earth's spiritual key. At the same time, she also found that her wind energy had changed, becoming incredibly powerful. It could be said that her luck had been very good. In comparison, after Chu Yao had killed her opponent, she had immediately tossed that corpse to Yez Hikyu. Yez Hikyu had also tried to absorb that favored Dao mark, but unfortunately, she had failed. That Dao mark had only paused in her body for a moment before fading away. As for Wild, once he had killed his opponent, he had also tried absorbing his Dao mark, but he had also failed. Of the three of them, only Tang Wan'er had succeeded, and so it could be seen that to steal the heavenly Dao's karmic luck depended greatly on chance. Karmic luck was extremely profound and mysterious. It was almost illusory and seemingly non-existent, but it was definitely a real thing. It was simply too mysterious to completely understand. Hey, what are you two whispering about? If you have anything hurtful to say, just say it loudly for everyone. Long Chen was somewhat discontented. Long Chen and Wild were walking at the front, while Chu Yao and Tang Wan'er were riding Little Snow, keeping far behind them. Occasionally they're quiet. Tinkling laughter would ring out. Hearing Long Chen's grumbling, Chu Yao laughed and didn't reply. Tang Wan'er was the one who said, You bad scoundrel, are you unhappy about us having our fun things to talk about? Although Long Chen acted discontented, he actually felt a huge pressure fall off his shoulders. He was relieved to see that Chu Yao didn't feel any resentment because of Tang Wan'er's existence. But he was extremely curious how a bizarre, Fiery girl like Tang Wan'er was able to converse so happily with Chu Yao, who normally didn't like to talk too much and was even a bit shy. That was inconceivable to Long Chen. Wild suddenly said, Brother Long, let's hurry up. My stomach's rumbling. I'm going to faint from the hunger. Ever since Wild had awakened, he had gone all out to eat. He practically went crazy from hunger. He didn't even care if it wasn't meat. As long as it was edible, he would swallow it immediately. All the rations in their spatial rings had already been eaten away by Wild. But even so, Wild's stomach was still constantly rumbling like a loud drum, causing them to laugh in surprise. Wild, what was with your body changing color back then? Asked Long Chen. Wild's skin had turned a red color on that day, and he had looked like an awakened beast, releasing a will that caused even Long Chen to shiver. I don't know. In any case, whenever I get angry, I'll end up awakening a strange energy. That energy is extremely powerful, but once I use that energy, I'll immediately become starving. Normally, if my master isn't by my side, I don't dare use that energy because I'm afraid I'll really starve to death, explained Wild, feeling somewhat vexed. According to Wild's explanation, his body was hiding a strange kind of energy, and according to what he said, it seemed that energy didn't come from his body, but his soul. Of course, that conclusion was guessed by Long Chen. Wild was unable to clearly explain where that energy came from. Every time he would use that energy, Wild would go through several days of feeling starving, and would need to constantly eat. His stomach was like a bottomless pit, and no matter how much he ate, it would be useless during the next few days. There was one time when Wild had been hunting and he had encountered a fourth-rank magical beast. At a critical juncture of life and death, he had ended up using that energy. As a result, he managed to kill that powerful magical beast, but he almost starved to death in the mountains. In the end, he even ate the magical beast's bones, only then managing to ward off his hunger. Just thinking about that time would fill Wild with terror. Hunger was easily capable of driving a man crazy. That was a kind of cruelty was sometimes even worse than torture. That was especially true for Wild with his special constitution. He didn't use any spiritual key when he fought. He relied solely on his physical body to fight. Once he was exhausted, his body's cells would demand food from Wild. That was why Wild's hunger level was unimaginably greater than an average person's. Before he had met Long Chen, Wild had endured periods of hunger, but it hadn't been so bad. However, as his body grew stronger, that feeling of hunger became more and more unbearable. 
It wasn't that his ability to endure had dropped, but that his body's requirements had grown too large. Now he practically needed to constantly eat, but there was one good thing about his hunger. Due to him quickening his footsteps in his haste, they quickly arrived in the Phoenix Cry Empire. After another short period of travel, the Imperial Capital appeared in front of them. As soon as Long Chen entered the capital, he caused a huge commotion as people came to greet him. Long Chen saw many familiar faces. Fatty Yu, Xiao Hao, and all the others were present to give Long Chen an embrace with crazy joy. Long Chen naturally gave them all a laughing greeting, but said he wanted to return home to see his parents first. He made a promise to go out drinking with them later at night. It had been over half a year since he had been home. Looking at his familiar estate gate, Long Chen felt a burst of emotion. The gates had already been newly decorated. In fact, all the walls had been newly washed and painted, and it was the entire noble estate had been transformed. Compared to how destitute it had been when he had left, it was completely different. Long Chen had just been about to push open the door when he heard his mom's discontented voice from within. Chenner's returned. I'm definitely going to go see him right now. Why must you make me wait for him here with you? Just let us mother and son see each other a bit earlier. You at least got to see Chenner at the border. So you're at ease. But I never got to see him. Long Shiang Xiao's deep voice responded. This is for your own good. There's too many people over there. So it's inconvenient. The large gate was pushed open. Long Chen finally got to see that figure which he thought about day and night. His voice trembled as he called out. Mom, Mrs. Long had been grumbling at Long Shiang Xiao. Suddenly hearing Long Chen's voice, her body shook, and she hastily turned to see her son's figure standing there. She was unable to hold back her tears any longer. Chen Er, Long Chen rushed into his mother's embrace, also crying. Mom, your son has been unfilial. Although Mrs. Long might not be his birth mother, Long Chen knew she had invested her whole life to him, raising him like her real son. They were no different than a biological mother and son. The fact that he had left to face the outside world had been a great impact on Mrs. Long. And so this time when he saw his mother again, Long Chen was filled with guilt. Good child, don't cry. It's good as long as you can return. Come, let mom see if you've gotten too thin. Mrs. Long gently caressed Long Chen's cheeks. She saw that after being gone for half a year, that immaturity on his face had already disappeared, replaced with a firm determination. She exclaimed, Good, my son has really grown up to be a real man. I really am happy, but I also knows you must have experienced many hardships during this, so I also feel sorry for you. Ah, if you have more to say, there are rooms inside. There's also guests waiting, reminded Long Shiang Xiao. Only then did Mrs. Long notice there were others. Hastily wiping away her tears, she greeted everyone and brought them in. The first words from Wilde's mouth were that he was starving to death. So Long Shiang Xiao quickly told people to get cooking. In fact, he even informed the imperial cooks to come help, because they all knew just how much Wilde could eat. Entering a room, Long Chen was holding his mother's hand when his expression suddenly became odd. Carefully looking at his mother, his eyes were filled with surprise and joy. Chapter 270 Father's Advice Translator Born to be mom, you. Long Chen's jaw dropped as he looked at his mother in surprise. Mrs. Long blushed, embarrassed to be stared at like this by her son. She viciously cut at Long Shiang Xiao with her eyes, angrily saying, It's all your father's fault. He really doesn't know how to be decent. Long Chen hadn't noticed at first, but now he realized that his mother's belly had swelled slightly. She had actually become pregnant. Back when Mrs. Long had first miscarried, she had been filled with pain. Luckily, Long Shiang Xiao had brought back Long Chen just a few days later, filling that hole in Mrs. Long's heart. The two of them both treated him like a gift from the heavens, giving Long Chen all their love. But not long after, their Long family had been drawn into a conspiracy, and Long Shiang Xiao had been forced to stay away from the capital. In reality, both Mrs. Long and Long Shiang Xiao were in the prime of their lives. Now that the storm had passed and they were at peace, the two of them no longer needed to stay parted all the time. The two of them were actually delighted that she had become pregnant again. Congratulations dad. Congratulations mom. Heartily laughed Long Chen. Long Shiang Xiao laughed with him. But Mrs. Long turned even redder. Her son had already grown up. But she was still unwilling to let go of him. Mom. Let me feel your pulse and let me see if you're carrying a little brother or a little sister. Laughed Long Chen. Mrs. Long had recovered slightly from her embarrassment by now. And she shook her head. Grandmaster has already helped me check. It's a daughter. Mrs. Long gently rubbed her belly. 
a loving light shining on her face. The heavens really have been kind to me. Even in my later years, they sent me a daughter. Everyone says that daughters are closest to their mothers. I really have been blessed. A little sister. Excellent. Long Chen nodded. His mother was just an ordinary mortal incapable of cultivating. She was approaching her forties. For her to become pregnant at such a time really was a kind gift from the heavens. With a child by his mother's side, she wouldn't spend all her days worrying about him. She would be able to pass her days much happier. Aya, we've been talking so much. I forgot about our guests. Mrs. Long really had been too happy, and had completely forgotten about Chu Yao and Tang Wan Er. No problem. They're all family, laughed Long Chen. Long Chen had only said this without thinking about it, and Chu Yao was completely fine with it. But Tang Wan Er blushed. Obviously calling her family caused her to feel a bit odd. Her heart was pounding, but a trace of joy appeared in her eyes. Aunt Long, Long Chen's right. There's no guests here. Only family Chu Yao came up and wrapped her arm around Mrs. Long's arm. This isn't an outsider, but a close female friend from Long Chen's sect. Tang Wan Er. Long Chen was startled. Close female friend? When did that happen? Wan Er greets Aunt Long. Tang Wan Er hastily paid her respects. She appeared bashful and graceful. A completely different display from how fiery she was with Long Chen normally. Haha, <laughs> what a beautiful maiden. It's rare to find someone so cute, sensible, and sweet-tempered. Ah, your character's very similar to Yao Er. Long Chen, you bad child. What are you secretly laughing about? Seeing Long Chen was doing his best to hold back his laughter to the side. Mrs. Long held on to Tang Wan Er's hand and demanded. Long Chen really was unable to hold back his laughter. How could cute, sensible, and sweet-tempered be used to describe Tang Wan Er? Ah, you guys can talk for now. I won't bother you any longer. I'll go talk with dad. Long Chen knew he would definitely get unequal treatment if he stayed here with these three women. He quickly went over to where his dad was. Arriving beneath an old tree in the rear court, Long Chen and Long Shiang Xiao sat atop a stone bench. Long Shiang Xiao looked up at that old tree and sighed. Time really passes quickly. I still remember when you were just a snot-nosed child holding that wooden sword, constantly challenging me to a duel. Now you've already grown up, reaching a level that even I, your father, can only look up to. Long Shiang Xiao looked at Long Chen. His gaze contained pride, but it also contained a trace of sorrow. Although Long Shiang Xiao was a magnanimous person, it was impossible for a father to completely hold back his deep love for his child. Long Chen felt a burst of emotion as he remembered how when he was young, his father would accompany him under this tree, playing with him and teaching him how to use the sword while his mother watched and laughed to the side. Now he had grown stronger, so strong that he could easily subdue an entire empire. But that kind of joy from his childhood would never return again. That was something being more powerful was incapable of fixing. This was just the cruelness of time. As time passed, it continuously pushed people forward. Once a moment had passed, it was impossible to return to. Son, your father cannot help you with anything in terms of cultivation. But there is one thing you have to remember. The more powerful a person becomes, the easier it will be for them to lose their original heart. So you absolutely can't have any intentions of being some lonely dominator. Otherwise, the further you walk, the fewer people you will have walking beside you. Eventually you will be all alone, becoming a violent tyrannical monster who will only believe in your own strength that will lead you down the devil path long shiang xiao was extremely grave the reason long shiang xiao gave this warning to long chen was because long chen always laid his inner heart bare to him he could sense that there was a terrifying tyrannical aura within long chen's bones that was a desire that wished to destroy the entire world if long chen were to allow that desire to overcome his senses then long chen really might end up falling onto the devil path becoming a true demon king. The stronger a person was, the easier it was to lose their original heart. That was because they only believed in their own strength. They didn't have confidence in anyone else beside them. The corrupt paths experts were like that. They only trusted in themselves. They didn't trust anyone else. They revered strength, revered slaughter, and thought that power was everything. Long Shiang Xiao was worried that Long Chen would one day walk down a similar path. Long Chen was just too strong and it would be easy for him to lose his way. Dad, don't worry, I understand. No matter how strong a person is, without someone guarding their back, they'll definitely die sooner or later. I will definitely leave my back to those I trust, nodded Long Chen. Ha ha ha, good. You really are worthy of being my, Long Shiang Xiao's, son. 
You are the pride of my life. Long Shiang Xiao laughed heartily, patting Long Chen on the shoulders. Actually dad, you are my real idol. Long Chen gazed at his father sincerely, arrogantly looking down on all beneath the heavens, being unafraid of death, caring deeply about relations and emotions, being sincere and heartfelt. In Long Chen's opinion, that was how a real hero should be. In comparison, those experts with higher cultivation bases but who spent all day contemplating despicable little schemes were all just piles of dog sheet in Long Chen's eyes. No matter how high their cultivation bases rose, they would never be heroes. At most, they would just go from a small lump of dog sheet to a big lump of dog sheet. There was no qualitative change. Ha ha ha, let's go. The food should be ready now. Us father and son definitely have to have a proper taste. Long Shiang Xiao pulled Long Chen into a dining room. By this point in time, Long Shiang Xiao was the main pillar of the entire empire. His orders were no different from the emperor's orders. The palace's hundreds of chefs had all rushed over the Long estate now, working all out to bring out their finest delicacies. By the time Long Chen and Long Shiang Xiao arrived, there were already over 200 chefs that were working efficiently. At the front was a table where Wilde was sitting alone. Those chefs were all quickly bringing plate after plate of meat to Wild. Wilde would swallow each plate of meat in just a single gulp, and then rapidly reach out for a new one. Those chefs were all shaken, but as soon as Wilde emptied their dish, they would run back and go prepare more food. In the end, there was a whole queue of chefs feeding Wilde while the others prepared more food as fast as they could. Uncle, brother, long, youth, come. Wilde was still wildly devouring all the food, stuttering out words between mouthfuls. Ah, just keep eating, there's more than enough food laughed Long Chen. He knew Wilde's body was special. This ordinary meat and food was unable to provide him enough energy. At best, they would just temporarily stall his hunger. But as long as he wasn't dying from hunger, it was still good enough. In order to completely replenish all his energy, they'd probably have to return to the monastery and go hunt some high-ranking magical beasts. At this time, Mrs. Long also walked in with Chu Yao and Tang Wan'er each holding one of her arms, all three of them smiling happily. Tang Wan'er was still displaying that warm and extremely pleasant behavior, something which made Long Chen feel extremely out of sorts. He continued to occasionally look at her oddly. While they were eating, Tang Wan'er took advantage of a couple times when everyone wasn't paying attention to viciously glare at Long Chen a couple times. Only then did Long Chen relax. It was still the same Tang Wan'er noveloon.com Long Chen spent three days within the capital. Those three days passed extremely happily. Long Chen also accompanied Chu Yao on a trip to the Imperial Palace. Another burst of emotion came when those two brother and sister, Chu Yao and Chu Fang, saw each other again. The Phoenix Cry Empire was currently prospering. With Long Shiang Xiao present, none of the surrounding empires dared have the slightest intentions against Phoenix Cry. Long Chen also gathered up Shi Fang, Fatty Yu, Xiao Hao, and everyone else at the Heroic Assembly House. At the top floor of the Heroic Assembly House, they constantly told stories about what had happened back then, and their voices only became louder as they drank more and more. Everyone became completely drunk in just a moment. Due to his cultivation base, Long Chen would drink a large jug while others only drank a cup in order to maintain an even playing field. So even Long Chen was completely drunk in the end. He didn't even remember how he managed to return home. In any case, in a daze, he had felt two gentle bodies supporting him, leaning against those two bodies. He had fallen fast asleep. When he awoke the next day, Long Chen felt a burst of pain in his head. He had actually gotten so drunk that he didn't even remember anything now. But sniffing the air, he could smell two faint fragrances lingering around his body. After living at home for three days, Long Chen finally brought his group away. They left under his mother's unwilling gaze. Looking back to look at the ancient city walls, Long Chen sighed. Life was a series of multiple choice options. After picking a few options, he didn't even know just what kind of path he had picked for himself. But Long Chen also had no choice. Rubbing that soul calming jade, he knew he had to know his past. More importantly, he had to know who his biological parents were. It was like he was standing in front of a huge door. While that jade pendant was the key, but he didn't dare open that door. Because once he did, whatever was hiding behind that door would immediately take his life. Long Chen urgently needed to increase his own strength. In fact, that urgency he constantly felt had only grown compared to before. It was as if some sort of danger was slowly drawing near. Leaving the capital, Long Chen's group hurried in the direction of Skywood Mountain. 
Chapter 271 Special Present Translator Born to be wild. You basically never stopped eating while we were in the capital. Are you still not full? Tang Wan'er looked at Wild with shock. Wild had never stopped eating while in the capital. He had literally ate through day and night. Occasionally he would feel sleepy and take a nap for less than an hour before waking up from hunger, continuing to devour all the food. Just watching him had stunned Tang Wan'er and Chu Yao. Wild bitterly grumbled. Nothing I can do. That meat has no energy in it. Only by continuously eating it can I barely make up how much energy I use daily. Otherwise, I wouldn't even be able to walk by now. Only Long Chen knew that eating was essentially cultivating for wild. The better the food he ate, the faster he would cultivate. That ordinary beef could only barely keep up with his energy expenditure. There was no energy for him to replenish himself or advance. If he hadn't eaten, he would have immediately fallen into what would essentially be a coma. Without enough energy, his body's cells would go on strike. Just at this moment, a thick python charged at them. That was a first-rank magical beast. Cold-blooded, low-ranking magical beasts had exceptionally low intelligence. It hadn't even sensed their cultivation bases before attacking them. In fact, it hadn't even noticed that Little Snow, a third-rank magical beast, was present. Wild's eyes immediately brightened when he saw that python. Food. Tang Wan'er waved a single finger and a small wind blade directly cut off that python's head. But even after cutting off its head, that wind blade didn't lose any strength and pierced a small hole into a huge boulder. Long Chen was shocked by that. The spot in the boulder that had been pierced was completely smooth. With just a random wave of Tang Wan'er's hand, she was able to cut through that hard rock as easily as cutting through tofu. Wild didn't care how that snake died. All he needed to know was that python was about to enter his stomach. Wait a moment for me to cook it a bit wild. Seeing Wild was about to start devouring that python, Long Chen hastily stopped him. He knew that Wild was being driven crazy by his hunger, so he naturally wouldn't care about the taste. If it had just been him and Wild, he wouldn't have cared all that much, but it wasn't suitable with Chu Yao and Tang Wan'er present. He quickly took out a grilling frame, skinned the python, washed it clean, and placed it on the grill. With a wave of his hand, a blue flame burst forth and immediately engulfed that python's corpse. Long Chen's beast flame was extremely powerful. If he didn't keep it restrained, it would have instantly burnt this first rank python to ashes. As a pill cultivator, Long Chen's spiritual strength was extremely strong. Controlling the flame was just a fundamental skill, and in just a couple breaths, that python was completely cooked, releasing a fragrant scent. Long Chen cut off a large portion of it for Tang Wan'er, Chu Yao, and himself, leaving all the rest for wild. He had cooked it extremely well and it was extremely satisfying to them. It practically melted in their mouths, and although he hadn't added any seasoning, both women had only praise. It's too bad we didn't bring any wonder carbs. Otherwise it would have been a great snack for big sister Yaoer, said Tang Wan'er with some regret. Long Chen ate a bite and then suddenly asked, I find it strange. How come you call Yaoer big sister, and Yaoer also calls you big sister? Just which one of you is the big sister and which is the little sister? Chu Yao laughed somewhat mischievously, smiling craftily. She asked, Well which one of us do you think is bigger? Which one of us is the big sister? Long Chen stiffened for a moment, looking at the two of them gazing steadily at him. He immediately realized that this was not such an easy question to answer. This was a word trap. A bad response would result in some punishment. But just who was Long Chen? Did they think he would fall for this trap? He stared at the two of them for a long time stretching it out awkwardly as his gaze roved over their bodies and faces. Finally, when the two of them were completely red, he sighed. Both your figures are extremely amazing. If you don't take off your clothes, I won't be able to tell just which one of you is bigger. The two of their faces were so red it looked like blood might drip out at any moment. The two of them simultaneously raged. Scoundrel. Improper. On the other hand, Long Chen laughed loftily. Being able to tease two absolute beauties like this was practically the greatest delight of his life. But Long Chen still felt that this was strange. With Tang Wan'er's fiery temper, normally he would definitely have received a beating with her fists after teasing her like this. Perhaps she would even throw in a couple kicks if she felt like it. Could it be that Chu Yao's gentle temperament had rubbed off on her? Then that really would be too boring. In the future, he wouldn't have anything to do when he was bored. Long Chen. What are you planning on doing once you return? Asked Chu Yao once she had recovered. Long Chen threw in the last piece of meat into his mouth. Wiping his mouth, he bitterly smiled. 
What plans could I possibly have? All I can do is cultivate all out. I still don't know just when I can break through this bottleneck. With my current cultivation base, wouldn't I end up doomed once I enter the Jiuli secret realm? Especially with that fellow. Yin Mule or something it's Yin Luo. Can you not be so ridiculous? Tang Wanner rebuked. Yeah, that Yin Luo fellow. I only managed to cut off one of his legs. He probably won't be too happy about that. Most likely he'll come to settle things with me in the secret realm. Side Long Chen. Chu Yao and Tang Wanner both remembered how terrifying Yun Luo was, and their smiles faded to be replaced with worry. That Yun Luo really is too terrifying. His body actually contains Xi'an essence blood. Although he can't control it perfectly, as his cultivation base grows, he'll gradually become accustomed to it. If he can use his body's Xi'an essence blood to control natural energy, then his attacks really will be horrifying. Last battle. He should still have been unfamiliar with his Xi'an essence blood. He was afraid of dying from the backlash of the natural energy, and so he didn't dare use too much strength. Yet even so, you all saw just how powerful that last attack of his was. Just recalling Yun Luo's last attack filled Chu Yao with worry. This time Yun Luo had ended up injured. He would probably go all out cultivating so he could wash away that humiliation. It was extremely likely he would attempt to kill Long Chen in the Jiuli secret realm. Long Chen, with your current strength, it should be no problem for you to at least survive against Yun Luo if you manage to break through to Tendon Transformation. But if you can't break through to Tendon Transformation before the opening of the Jiuli Secret Realm, that really will be dangerous, said Tang Wanur. The reason Long Chen had been able to seize victory last time had been because of Chu Yao's secret art. She had lent her ocean's worth of spiritual key to him to use. If it hadn't been for Chu Yao, let alone Yun Luo, just that corrupt elder would have killed Long Chen. Long Chen also understood his weak points. One weak point was his cultivation realm was too low, while the other was that he didn't have enough energy. In regards to ordinary core disciples, his Feng Fu star's energy definitely wouldn't be lacking compared to any of them. But Long Chen's Feng Fu battle armor and split the heavens were both too exhausting. So right now Long Chen had two choices. One. He could do his best to attempt to make a cultivation base breakthrough to tendon transformation. Or his other option was to condense the second of the nine stars, the Aelief star. Long Chen was sure that if he could just condense the Aelief star, then with both stars superposition, he would be even stronger and be able to fight longer. As for more battle skills, Long Chen didn't really need them. That was because his spiritual key wasn't able to keep up with such a huge expenditure. The crucial point of all this was that Long Chen was stuck in a bottleneck, and he had no idea how he could break through to reach tendon transformation. The bottleneck he was in was extremely strange. He had already reached the peak of blood condensation, and yet he was unable to break through. That was extremely vexing for him, but Long Chen knew that this kind of situation couldn't be rushed. Rather than attempting to break through this impossible bottleneck, it would be better for him to focus on gathering all the Aelief pills ingredients. They had killed many corrupt experts this time, and there would definitely be large rewards. Long Chen didn't need anything else. All he needed were the Aelief pills medicinal ingredients. As long as he gathered even just a few sets of them, he could at least condense an embryonic Aelief star. Long Chen had a premonition that as long as he could condense the Aelief star, his combat ability would definitely crazily surge. Seeing that Long Chen looked a bit grave, Chu Yao didn't want him to feel so much pressure so she held his hand and asked. What did you do yesterday at the Alchemist Guild and the Huaian Pavilion? Yesterday, despite how busy he had been, he had taken the time to go to those two places. Chu Yao and Tang Wanner had stayed with his parents, and so they didn't know what he had done there. Novaloon.com Long Chen laughed mischievously. First I went to the Alchemist Guild to officially greet the new chairman. After all, he has treated our Long family really well. It would have been too rude if I didn't at least pay him a visit. Other than just greeting him. I also asked him a couple matters to do with the Alchemist Guild. As for the Huaian Pavilion, I just wanted to see if I could find anything I need. And, he, I actually did manage to buy it. An ink black stone appeared on Long Chen's hand. It was just the size of an egg. Ancient lines covered it, and it gave off an extremely archaic aura. The two women were slightly surprised. They took that stone from his hand and examined it from all directions, unable to see through its mysteries. It looks very ancient. These lines should also be natural, and contain an ancient aura. But other than that, I can't find anything special about it, said Chu Yao curiously. Long Chen purposely acted mysterious, 
It's natural that you can't see through what's so special about it. After all, you're all too young. Then let me tell you, the most special part about this stone is, it is very old. And then, asked Tang Wanur, nothing, are you playing us? Asked Tang Wanur disdainfully. Long Chen laughed mischievously again, and rubbed that stone with a pleased expression. But looking at Long Chen's smile gave the two of them a chill. They both had a bad feeling. Long Chen, are you planning on doing something bad again? Chu Yao understood Long Chen very well. Of course not. Long Chen shook his head like it was a rattle, righteously saying, What kind of person do you think I, Long Chen, am? This is to be sent as a gift. But neither Chu Yao or Tang Wanner really believed him. That was because Long Chen's smile just not really had been too mischievous. Tang Wanner suddenly had a thought. I think I know who Long Chen is sending this gift to. Chapter 272 A Secret Translator Born to be I think I know who Long Chen is giving this gift to, exclaimed Tang Wanur. He, don't make any random guesses. Long Chen didn't say any more about that topic. He felt that Tang Wanur really had sensed something. He really had no choice but to admire her. A woman's intuition really was frightening. Long Chen asked Tang Wanur, after you became a favored, did you feel anything particularly special? Looking at that attack just now, it seems your attacks are a bit different from before. Tang Wanner was excited to talk about becoming a favored. She told Long Chen that ever since she had absorbed that Dao mark, she could feel a mysterious energy supporting her. Her wind blades had also changed. Her control of wind energy had reached a kind of pinnacle, and her wind runes were clearer than ever. In terms of power, they were at least ten times stronger than in the past. In reality, a favored Dao mark was a natural mark of the heavenly Daos. It was extremely ephemeral and mysterious. It was a mysterious existence that occurred with karmic destiny. When a baby was born, if their karmic luck was great enough, they would receive the approval of the heavenly deos, and that natural mark would adhere to their body in order to even further increase their karmic luck. But this kind of natural deo mark wouldn't stay the same forever. As a person grew, if their karmic luck faded, that deo mark would also fade away to find another host or perhaps just disappear back into the heavens. That was why their Dao mark would automatically leave their body when they were killed. A person could forcibly try to absorb that Dao mark at that time. But as for whether or not you could succeed in having it stay in your body, that would essentially count on your karmic luck. After that huge battle, three people had had their Dao mark stolen. But only Tang Wanner had succeeded. And that was actually extremely lucky. It was said that the odds of succeeding in absorbing another person's Dao mark were less than 10%. However, once you succeeded, then with the Dao Mark's karmic luck adding on to your own, your future would be limitless. That was why Tang Wanner was so excited. She was also deeply moved, and surprisingly, she held on to Long Chen's hand warmly. Thank you Long Chen, you aren't even a favored, but you gave me your chance to become one. But just thinking about that actually filled Long Chen with resentment. When Tu Fang had told him to snatch that Dao Mark, he had sensed that it would most likely have no affinity with him, and as he had expected, Chu Yao had told him that this Dao mark was something that existed on top of the Danshan spirit root. If the spirit root was likened to a huge tree, then elemental spiritual key was like the tree's fruit. Other than being able to provide more karmic luck, that Dao mark was also able to change a person's spiritual key attribute. It was able to increase the affinity and strength of a person's elemental attribute by tens of times. Chu Yao was an excellent example. She was a wood cultivator and normal wood cultivators weren't powerful combat experts. They were generally only capable of assisting the real fighters. Their greatest ability was their ability to heal wounds. But as a favored, Chu Yao's wood energy had changed, containing a trace of metal element. Metal and wood oppressed each other. It should have fundamentally been impossible to merge them. And yet the power of a favored could not be judged according to common sense. And that was one of the reasons a favored's combat ability was so terrifying. Once Tang Wanner had absorbed that Dao mark, her wind energy had also changed. So now a random wave of Tang Wanner's hand was just as strong as one of her full strength attacks in the past. That was why Tang Wanner was incredibly grateful to Long Chen. Long Chen had directly given that favored's corpse to her after he had killed him. She hadn't even known what a favored's Dao mark was, but she had simply listened to what he said. Only once she had absorbed that Dao mark had she realized that Long Chen had made a great sacrifice leaving this huge opportunity to her. This was also why Chu Yao sensed that Long Chen's treatment of Tang Wanner wasn't just that of two friends. So she had taken the initiative to form a relationship with her. In reality, 
Long Chen had been misjudged. His dantian was completely empty. Where was there a spirit root for that Dao mark to adhere to? Giving it to Tang Wan'er was simply the right thing to do. With one hand held by Tang Wan'er, feeling her hand and how exquisitely soft it was. How could Long Chen contain himself? Gently rubbing Tang Wan'er's hand, he acted completely infatuated. If I can use just a favored's corpse to exchange for a beauty's heart, then that really would be worth it. Looks like I'll need to work harder in the future. Tang Wan'er's face was red from holding Long Chen's hand, but she also didn't have the heart to pull away. But then after Long Chen finished speaking, that bashful, gentle expression completely disappeared. Looking at the infatuated Long Chen, she asked, Are you thinking of going out to kill a couple more favored to exchange for some more beauty's hearts? Of course, of course Aya, rubbing her jade hand, that feeling really was infatuating for him. He hadn't noticed that her tone had changed suddenly, and so he had just made a random reply. But then he felt a burst of pain from his waist. At the same time, he realized he was unable to move. His body was tightly bound with wooden stakes. Tang Wan'er's other hand was viciously pinching him on the waist. Hey, we were just talking nicely. How do you become so hostile so fast? Cried out Long Chen. He saw Chu Yao was currently forming a hand seal with a naughty smile as she looked at Long Chen. Not saying anything. Tang Wan'er raged. I just knew you were a womanizer. With your figgle heart. How are you worthy of big sister Yao'er's devotion? Hey. That was just a random reply. I wasn't serious. Furthermore, you're clearly the one that's always seducing me. You're forcibly captivating me. This is just your trap. Justified Long Chen. With those wooden stakes binding his body, he was unable to move at all. What seduction? Just listening to you is disgusting. Long Chen, you really are wicked. Tang Wan'er blushed and raged at the same time. That was just a slip of the tongue. And even if someone should penalize me, it should be Yao'er. Yao'er, I misspoke, so forgive me, next time I definitely won't, Long Chen knew Chu Yao was the more kind-hearted one, he directly admitted defaturing and as he had expected, Long Chen's act of pity really was Chu Yao's weak point, she was just about to release him, big sister Yao'er, you absolutely can't listen to him, this fellow is most skilled in putting on an act, don't get tricked, Tang Wan'er really understood Long Chen too well, having his trick be so suddenly broken, Long Chen raged. Have you made a mistake? This is a matter for a husband and wife. Me and Yao'er. Why are you interfering? Chu Yao blushed shyly, but she felt a burst of warmth. From the start, Long Chen had always viewed her that way. Tang Wan'er righteously replied. Big sister Yao'er said that when she's not present, I have to look after you and make sure you don't go womanizing everywhere. Ah, you gave me to her? Yao'er, aren't you afraid of her cheating you? Yao'er, let me tell you. She's been drooling over how handsome I am for a long time Aya. Long Chen was once more given a vicious pinch before he could finish speaking. Scoundrel. Who drooled over you? Who would seduce you? I'll cheat your head off. Tang Wan'er was really angered now. In between her words, she would give Long Chen a vicious pinch. Chu Yao was laughing to the side. She knew that Long Chen's miserable cries were all fake just to intentionally tease them. With Long Chen's powerful physical body, not even pliers on his skin would hurt. How could Tang Wan'er's pinches really hurt that much? Seeing Long Chen acting like this, Chu Yao also didn't feel like keeping him bound. Those wooden stakes all became as flexible as rope and returned to the earth, disappearing. That was enough laughing for now. Holding Chu Yao's hands, Long Chen began to speak of proper things. Yao'er, do you really have to return to Skywood Palace so soon? Didn't you say you could stay at the Zhuanshan Monastery for a period? I really hate to part with you so soon after we have reunited. Chu Yao reddened slightly and gently caressed Long Chen's cheek. I also hate to part with you. But if I want to protect you, I need to constantly increase my strength. This time, once I return to Skywood Palace, my master has promised me that she will transmit the first volume of the Skywood Sacred Canon to me. That's our Skywood Palace's absolute secret tome. It is incredibly powerful. And my master said that if I can master the Skywood Sacred Canon, my strength will reach an unprecedented level. Long Chen could only nod. There was really nothing that could be done about this. Cultivation was inherently a struggle. They all had to make the most of their time to raise their strength, or they would be thrown behind by others. Right. How much do you know about the Jiuli Secret Realm? Asked Long Chen. Long Chen had essentially only heard its name. He still didn't know any of the details. Tang Wan'er was also extremely curious. She said, 
I've heard that the Jiuli secret realm only opens once every hundred years. There is also a limit on the entrances. Only those in the Tendon Transformation Realm and below can enter. Bone forging experts will only get exterminated if they try to force their way in. I wonder if that's true. Chu Yao solemnly said. It's said that the Jiuli secret realm's restriction is extremely powerful. Even Xianchen experts will definitely die if they try to barge their way in. Master said that there are many legends about the Jiuli secret realm. Some people said it came from another place. That it is a world that was battered by time and space that eventually arrived here. There are also others who say this was a world created by a great god from ancient times. Normally it conceals itself in the cracks of the world. In short, there are many rumors about it, and it is extremely mysterious. No one really knows where the Jiuli secret realm came from. Only its name is transmitted down generation by generation. As for why it's called the Jiuli secret realm, no one knows. But there is one thing that is certain. My master said that the Jiuli secret realm is definitely extremely ancient. It is essentially its own world. There are many strange beasts living inside. There are countless opportunities inside. If you're strong or lucky enough, you might even obtain a heaven-defying treasure. Quite a few disciples have found extremely great treasures within the Jiuli secret realm. And so the Jiuli secret realm has become a land of struggle between the righteous and corrupt paths. Long Chen's heart jumped. He hadn't expected the Jiuli secret realm's origin to be so mysterious. But for some reason, every time he heard the Jiuli secret realm's name, his Feng Fu star would begin to crazily circulate. That's why you have to work hard Long Chen. At that time, the apex experts of seven prefectures will gather in the Jiuli secret realm. Experts will cover the land. Favored will be everywhere. And the number of geniuses will be uncountable. Within the Jiuli secret realm, the righteous and corrupt disciples will both undergo huge fights. Especially when fighting over treasures. Furthermore, by now you know that the righteous path doesn't only contain righteous people. At that time, you won't only need to worry about the corrupt path, but also the sinister tricks of the righteous disciples. Long Chen nodded. He knew that with how completely kind-hearted Chu Yao was, that last line had probably been told to her in warning by her master. In order to let you cultivate with your mind at ease, I'll tell you a certain secret. A charming light appeared within Chu Yao's beautiful eyes. Chapter 273 True Character Translator Born to be Chu Yao asked, Didn't you want to know why I call one her big sister? And she also calls me big sister. Yes, he, in truth. We really are tied together by destiny. That's because we were both born on the same year, same month, and same day. And most inconceivable of all, we were both born three quarter hours after midnight. So neither one of us really knows which one of us is older. And we just decided to both call each other big sister. How about that? I bet you never imagined that. Chu Yao held Tang Wan Er's hand, winking at Long Chen. Long Chen's jaw dropped. Were there really such coincidental things in this world? If it was just the same year and day, that was one thing, but the exact same hour and quarter hour? That really was ridiculous. Chu Yao and Tang Wan Er laughed at Long Chen's shocked expression. They had both known Long Chen for a long time, but he rarely had such a truly shocked expression, and so they were both immensely proud of being able to shock him so greatly. Fine, I admit I really am frightened. Long Chen shook his head and sighed. This world really was crazy. He, so when I'm not present, Big Sister Wanner will look after you for me. You can't bully Big Sister Wanner, said Chu Yao profoundly. She's going to look after me? Then wouldn't I not have a life to even enter the Jiuli secret realm? Long Chen looked at Tang Wanner worriedly. Long Chen, you're so untrustworthy. You know, I also have a sensitive side. Tang Wanner looked like she might cry. Long Chen, you can't bully Big Sister Wanner. Quickly apologize, rebuked Chu Yao. Fine, fine, I was wrong. Lady Wanner is virtuous, warm, gentle, and kind-hearted. I should not have doubted Sister Wanner's character. Long Chen's face really was incredibly thick. Only after he said that did Tang Wanner's tears turn into a smile. Looking at those two amazingly beautiful figures, Long Chen's heart pounded. One warm and gentle person, and one person acting warm and gentle. And yet both were absolutely intoxicating. If he could marry both these two beauties at the same time, then this life would really have been worth it. However, Chu Yao's words about Tang Wan Er looking after him hadn't been too clear. He didn't know just what kind of developments had occurred between the two of them. In the end, trying to understand a woman's heart was harder than becoming a god. And so Long Chen still acted as if he didn't completely understand what their feelings were for each other. 
Otherwise, if he were to have misjudged them, that would be extremely awkward. If it was just awkward, that would be whatever. But if he made a mistake and rushed things, that might hurt their feelings. And then he would really be screwed. So good things had to be worked for slowly. The two of them were even more beautiful than flowers. Looking at Chu Yao and Tang Wan Er, Long Chen unconsciously thought of another face. Her long hair danced. Her skin was white as snow. And she looked just like a fairy who had descended upon a world of mere mortals. He wondered just how she was. Long Chen, are you thinking of big sister Men Qi? Asked Chu Yao gently. Long Chen stiffened. After a moment's hesitation, he nodded. He wasn't good at lying like that. Even if he was a bit shameless, he had no choice but to admit that for some unknown reason, Men Qi had somehow occupied the most important part of his heart. According to common sense, he had known Men Qi for the shortest period of time, and so that didn't make sense. But despite that short period they had interacted, she had given him the deepest impression. Previously, he had thought that the reason she had had such a deep impact on him was because of her beauty, that it had been a kind of worship for a beauty of the opposite sex. But as time passed, he realized it wasn't so simple. He felt as if he had known Men Qi several lives ago. That kind of thinking was somewhat absurd, but Long Chen still felt it. He felt a kind of familiarness from deep within his soul. Who is Men Qi? Asked Tang Wan Er curiously. Chu Yao smiled slightly. Everyone's already finished eating, so let's get going. We'll talk while we walk. Chu Yao pulled Tang Wan Er to the side as they walked alone. Wild had also finished eating now. Although a first-rank magical beast couldn't completely fill his stomach, it would at least give him enough energy to walk without constantly eating. The next day, they arrived at the end of Skywood Mountain. Skywood Mountain looked like it had been formed by a huge blade cutting apart the earth. The Zhuanshan Monastery and the Skywood Palace were on opposite sides. In terms of direct distance, the two of them were less than 2,000 miles from each other. But Skywood Mountain soared high into the clouds, and it was impossible to cross. And so in truth, the difference between their two sects was more like tens of thousands of miles. That was something that made the two of them feel extremely helpless. Chu Yao reached out and tidied up Long Chen's clothes. Her eyes were a bit red. Although she knew this would just be a temporary parting, she still wasn't able to stop tears from flowing from her eyes. Long Chen gently wrapped his arms around her soft body and pulled her into his embrace, letting her sob into his chest. That was the only thing he could do. After a long while, Chu Yao finally let go of Long Chen. She also gave a hug to Tang Wan Er. Even Tang Wan Er was crying when she tightly hugged Chu Yao. Chu Yao was Tang Wan Er's first close friend. The two of them had only known each other for a short time, but they had already reached the point that they didn't keep anything from each other, and had long since become sisters. Take care. Chu Yao finally parted with them. Long Chen's heart felt as if it was being stabbed by needles. Looking at her fading figure, Long Chen vowed to himself that he would definitely get stronger. He refused to suffer this kind of helpless pain of farewell again. Big sister Chu Yao has left. But don't worry, I'm here to take care of you. Comforted Tang Wan Er. You, take care of me? To tell the truth, I really am a bit scared. Sighed Long Chen. Bastard, you're asking for it. Tang Wan Er's hand had grabbed onto Long Chen's collar before she even finished speaking. She was like a quick mother tiger that had charged at Long Chen. Long Chen, do you know how long I've been holding myself back? You little rascal. As soon as we leave the sect, you start acting even more annoying. Now your wings have gotten big enough that you don't even place this faction leader in your eyes? If it weren't for big sister Yao Er, I'd have long since beaten you up. To the side, Wild and Little Snow were just watching curiously. The gentle and warm Tang Wan Er had suddenly become a fierce mother tiger. They were somewhat stunned, especially Wild, as expected. Her gentleness was all just an act. Long Chen had thought that maybe Chu Yao had rubbed off on Tang Wan Er, mellowing out her fierce temperament. But now he remembered a certain phrase. You could change a world, but you couldn't change a woman's nature. However, to tell the truth, Long Chen preferred this Tang Wan Er. This fiery Tang Wan Er was the real Tang Wan Er. What are you smiling about? Raged Tang Wan Er. But after she said that, she realized that the two of them were intimately close together now. In fact, she was practically pressing her body into him. She could feel Long Chen's pulse, and she could smell that particular male scent from his body. Tang Wan Er blushed, but she still tightly clenched his collar. Speak. Do you admit your wrongs? I was wrong. How were you wrong? I was wrong in everything. Give me some specifics. I have made many mistakes. 
But I know my greatest mistake was that I misunderstood the beautiful Sister Wanner. Sister Wanner is a kind, warm, gentle, virtuous, smart, refined and elegant woman. As he spoke, Long Chen also took out a short rod from his spatial ring and placed it on his head, pointing it straight up at the sky. Tang Wanner was almost laughing at what he was saying, but then seeing his odd movements, she curiously asked, What are you doing? I'm just being a lightning rod. Long Chen looked up at the sky gravely. Tang Wanner didn't immediately understand what he meant, but then looking up at cloudless sky, she frowned. What nonsense are you talking about? According to my elders, if I lie, I'll be struck by lightning, said Long Chen solemnly. Tang Wanner quickly understood what he was talking about, and she raged. Bastard, you were playing me. Long Chen laughed, twisted out of her grasp, and quickly fled. Stop right there. Tang Wanner shot off in hot pursuit. Wild and Little Snow looked at each other expressionlessly, and simply silently followed behind them. When Long Chen and Tang Wanner returned to the monastery, a huge commotion erupted. Whether it was the new disciples or the old disciples, they all gathered to greet them. In this battle between the righteous and corrupt paths, the Zhuangshan monastery's fame had soared. Long Chen had led the righteous disciples to slaughter corrupt disciples that had been several times their number, practically creating a legend. By himself, he had managed to kill a favored, an eight-tempered bone-forging elder, and cut off the leg of a once-in-a-thousand-year genius. Long Chen had practically become a legendary person to them, and that legendary person had been amongst them, leading them to fight a real battle. That battle had let all the disciples understand just what was true strength and just what was a true battle. On the battlefield, Long Chen had led these disciples to be able to face death without fear and kill those corrupt disciples. That scene of him leading them was forever imprinted in their hearts. Ye Hikyu, Gu Yang, Song Mingyuan, and the other core disciples also came. Senior Apprentice Brother Wan also brought the law enforcers to greet Long Chen. Looking at Senior Apprentice Brother Wan, Long Chen couldn't help exclaiming, Bone Forging Realm. Senior Apprentice Brother Wan's aura was surging out with a powerful pressure. That kind of pressure was something only achievable after reaching the Bone Forging Realm. Ha ha ha, it's all just luck. Senior Apprentice Brother Wan smiled. He had originally been at the peak of tendon transformation. With his talent, he would have needed at least three to five years to break through to Bone Forging. But in truth, it would have been normal for him to still be unable to break through even after ten years. That was because as your realm increased, the stronger the bottlenecks would become, making it increasingly difficult to break through. However, after experiencing that huge battle, after forgetting about the fear of death to go all out killing his enemies, by discarding all his fear and misjivings, his bottleneck had loosened a great deal. Just the second day after he returned to the monastery, he had succeeded in advancing to the bone forging realm of the senior apprentice brothers left behind in the monastery. He was the first to advance to bone forging. He Congratulations Senior Apprentice Brother Wan. Wait, no, it should be congratulations Elder Wan. Long Chen laughed. According to the monastery's rules, when a law enforcer advanced to bone forging, they would automatically be promoted to elder and receive the corresponding benefits. Long Chen, don't make fun of me. Aren't you afraid of me making life hard for you? Joked Senior Apprentice Brother Wan. As everyone greeted Long Chen excitedly, he saw that almost everyone's auras had climbed a great deal now. Quite a few people had advanced, and those who hadn't advanced yet all had unstable auras. That was a sign they might advance at any moment. Long Chen, when are you going to bring us out like that again? Fuck, last time really was satisfying, said Gu Yang excitedly. Long Chen laughed. He was about to reply when an elder suddenly walked over and told Long Chen, The sect leader is looking for you. Chapter 274 Chosen Disciple Translator Born to be on the side of Skywood Mountain was an immortal cave. From that immortal cave, it was possible to overlook the entire monastery. This immortal cave was the highest construction within the entire monastery. It was the Zhuangshan Monastery sect leader's immortal cave. Within the immortal cave, Long Chen was curiously examining the surroundings. He was surprised that the sect leader's immortal cave was extremely simple. It was the complete opposite of what he had imagined. There were no decorations on the walls. It looked like Ling Yunzi had simply left it the same as when it had been first carved open. In fact, it looked quite similar to the caves of beasts Long Chen had run into. Of course, Long Chen didn't dare speak those thoughts aloud. Ling Yunzi and Tu Fang were standing right in front of him. In terms of furniture, there was only a large prayer mat that had a single wooden table. There were some cups and a teapot on the table. 
sit. Ling Yanzi smiled slightly when he saw Long Chen enter, with two seniors present. How could disciple possibly sit? Although that was what came out of Long Chen's mouth, he had already sat down. Ha ha ha. Ah, Long Chen, you really are strange. Do you not have a time when you are restrained? Ling Yanzi couldn't hold back a laugh. Long Chen really was an easygoing person, someone who didn't fear heaven or earth. Panic and terror were expressions that almost never appeared on him. Even when Long Chen had been facing that terrifying hand from that expert of the corrupt path, he hadn't shown any despair. That was what Ling Yanzi especially admired about Long Chen. He was always filled with self-confidence no matter what happened. Such a person was one of two things, a madman, or an idiot. However, Long Chen didn't act like a crazy person or an idiot. But then again, it wasn't exactly correct to say he acted like an ordinary person either. Even when elders saw Ling Yanzi, they would all be trembling with trepidation and reverence, unable to handle the pressure. But Long Chen didn't seem to feel any pressure at all. He, my strongest point is my mental fortitude which lets me be myself at any time. Long Chen laughed and poured cups of tea for both of them, respectfully handing them over to the two of them. Please have a drink. Thank you both for your care. Ling Yanzi and Tu Fang laughed and received the teacups Long Chen offered them. Long Chen was easygoing, preferring to be free and open, not caring so much about trifles, but his attention to detail was actually extremely high. Otherwise he wouldn't have been able to control the flow of the battle last time so perfectly. The corrupt disciples had clearly greatly outnumbered the righteous disciples, and yet they were all led by the nose by Long Chen, and he had pulled off a perfect reversal. Furthermore, the way Long Chen had offered them tea had also been extremely detailed and well done. His right hand had held the cup, his forefinger curving ever so slightly without touching the side. That was a sign of respect for seniors. In addition, Long Chen's left hand looked like it had just been randomly holding the cup up at the bottom. But in reality, only his middle finger and ring finger had been holding it from the bottom. That was special mark of respect for martial artists. Those kinds of respectful gestures were all common within the secular world but there were few cultivators who knew about them. However, both Ling Yanzi and Tu Fang knew about them. Child, if you put it like that, it'll make me blush with shame. Both of us have only treated you in accordance to the monastery's rules without giving you the slightest special treatment. Tu Fang shook his head. After handing them their tea, Long Chen added in more water and also poured himself a cup. Then he smiled. Although we haven't interacted much, I can tell that you two truly cherish this little one. So that's enough. Although the two of them were two high and grand existences in comparison to him, with Ling Yanzi even being a sect leader, Long Chen could see that neither of them were those arrogant types that were so unlikable. Most importantly, although the two of them said they had only treated him in accordance to the rules, Long Chen had been able to sense that the two of them really were looking out for him from a few small clues. Ling Yanzi laughed. What an interesting little fellow. It's no wonder all those disciples would follow you so unswervingly. But for you to say it like that, I really am embarrassed. What happened? Long Chen was surprised to see Ling Yanzi sigh. Tu Fang, you explain it. Ling Yanzi gently drank a sip of tea. Although his expression was calm, Long Chen's sharp senses noticed that a single vein on his hand had suddenly pulsed ever so slightly. That kind of minor reaction could mean nothing. But Ling Yanzi was a Xi'anchen expert. He had a connection to heaven and earth's energy. He had a fine control over every cell of his body. So such a minor reaction was actually very alarming. For such a reaction to occur, that meant Ling Yanzi, who was normally extremely calm, must really be feeling some sort of intense emotion. Furthermore, from this kind of reaction, it seemed that emotion was fury. When his sword had slashed down on that corrupt path's expert's huge hand, when his sword had broken that spatial door, his expression had always been calm. But such a top expert now seemed infuriated. Long Chen really was at a loss. Tu Fang nodded. He said to Long Chen, This time you managed to kill a corrupt elder. With your strength, we applied for a chosen disciple position for you. Chosen. Yes, a chosen. For most people, to gain a chosen disciple position requires you to also be a favored. Explained Tu Fang. But I'm not a favored. Long Chen bitterly smiled. He didn't even have a spirit root. So how would he become a favored? Just thinking about that angered Long Chen. Inside. He cursed whatever person had stolen his spirit root. Tu Fang continued, You aren't a favored, but your strength would not be inferior to any chosen. That was what he said out loud. But inside, he said, What are favored when compared to you? If you don't die, 
those favored won't even be fit to polish your shoes. The fact remains that you managed to kill a favored, kill an eight temper bone forging elder, and in the end even cut off the leg of another chosen. That proves you have enough strength. That Yun Mu La, I mean Yun Luo, is also a chosen, asked Long Chen. Correct. Back when Yun Luo was just born, he already had a Dao mark supporting him. When he was five, his Dao mark covered his entire body and incited a special manifestation of heaven and earth. That's why he was raised with the chosen's treatment. Tu Fang sighed. Yun Luo was extremely famous. In truth, when they had first found out that the corrupt path had instigated that battle, they had immediately gone to ask the super monastery for aid in order to handle Yun Luo. They had been hoping for the monastery to send down another chosen to face Yun Luo. Ling Yunzi's Zuanchen monastery was the 108th monastery, the last place monastery. This monastery was unable to compare to the other monasteries. All the higher ranking monasteries had chosen talents within them, but those fellows wouldn't go out fighting for others. The super monastery knew that if they didn't send a chosen to help, then the 108th monastery would be completely routed. And so they had dispatched one of the first monastery's disciples to go provide assistance. The first monastery was the strongest monastery, and it possessed three chosen. Sending one down was extremely simple for them, but that chosen had used getting lost as an excuse to arrive half a month late. By that time, the battle had already ended. Completely infuriated, Ling Yunzi had directly reported this to the higher levels of the super monastery. However, the first monastery had a very deep relationship with the super monastery. They had actually managed to suppress this matter from becoming bigger. That had truly infuriated Tu Fang and Ling Yunzi. That was intolerable bullying. The fact that the chosen had arrived late could have caused countless of their disciples to die. How could this matter be settled just like that? The heavens really had been protecting them during this battle. Mo Nian had appeared out of nowhere. Chu Yao had displayed a shocking battle ability and Wild had been incredibly powerful as well. Furthermore, Tang Wan'er and them had also fought exceptionally outstandingly. With Long Chen leading them, they had completely reversed this battle which should have resulted in a massacre for them. If it was just the fact that they had suppressed this information from becoming widespread, that would have been one thing. After all, the first monastery was extremely powerful and was not an existence they could provoke. They could only endure. But when Tu Fang had brought over a huge number of corrupt disciple heads to them to exchange for points, he had also reported the matter of Long Chen killing an eight, temper bone forging elder in hopes of getting Long Chen a chosen disciple position. Chosen were all existences unrivaled within their realm. Even the super monastery valued them, and would provide a great deal of resources to raise them. But Tu Fang had only just sent in the request when an elder from the super monastery rejected him, his reasoning that this was clearly fake. Tu Fang had really been infuriated then. He had gone straight back to the monastery and received a photographic jade from Ling Yunzi that had the events of the battle recorded. When he ran back to the super monastery and handed over that photographic jade, that elder had been silent for a long while. He had then told Tu Fang that this matter was too peculiar, and he had to report it to the higher-ups first. Tu Fang had felt that it was odd for him to have to wait. Normally, this kind of matter would be handled extremely quickly especially since he had handed over that photographic jade as proof. But then again, this situation really was peculiar. After all, Long Chen was only at the peak of blood condensation, and he was also not a favored. The fact that others found it inconceivable and had to discuss it first was reasonable. But the next day, that elder had sent Tu Fang a message saying that he was extremely sorry, but that all the chosen spots for this generation had already been taken, and there were not enough resources to distribute anymore. Tu Fang had been about to burst with rage. This was clearly purposely making it hard on them. The super monastery's inheritance stretched back for tens of thousands of years. Would they really be lacking resources for a single genius? But Tu Fang also had no way around this. There was no way he could get in touch with the true higher-ups. He could only swallow this stomach of fire and simply receive the ordinary resources and rewards for the monastery. But just as he was about to leave, he had heard a single bit of news. The first monastery had just given birth to another chosen. Didn't they say that there were no more chosen spots to hand out? This time Tu Fang was far too suspicious. He hadn't gone to find that elder, and had instead secretly asked around. He had learned that the elder who had refused to give them that chosen disciple position was someone extremely close to the first monastery's sect leader. Tu Fang had then come to a sudden realization. It was no wonder Long Chen's chosen application had not gone through. 
They had just angered the first monastery by reporting the fact that their chosen had failed to accomplish his task. Once he realized this, Tu Fang realized there really was no hope. He had had no choice but to dejectedly return. After hearing Tu Fang's explanation, Long Chen smiled, stood up, and bowed to Ling Yunzi and Tu Fang. Chapter 275 Nine Vein Soul Calming Jade Translator Born to be disciple thanks seniors for their care. Please accept disciples thanks. Long Chen bowed towards Ling Yunzi and Tu Fang. Although Tu Fang had explained it all extremely calmly, Long Chen could guess just how pent up frustration and anger he had been in. Because of something involving him, Tu Fang, an upright and solemn man, had been driven to such intense fury, that moved Long Chen. Child, we really will be too embarrassed like this. Tu Fang was somewhat ashamed. It was true that he had fought for Long Chen, but in the end, he had still failed. Furthermore, fighting for a chosen disciple position for Long Chen didn't just benefit Long Chen. Once Long Chen received a chosen's treatment and his cultivation base grew, he would be able to help their monastery increase their ranking. Fighting for him would also benefit the monastery, and so Long Chen's bar really did cause Ling Yunzi and Tu Fang to blush. Long Chen, although we couldn't get you a chosen position, I can promise you that all the monastery's resources will be available to you. Ling Yunzi suddenly clenched his teeth. What? Tu Fang was given a fright. It's no matter. If the super monastery refuses to raise him, then we'll do it ourselves. As for the consequences, let me accept them all, said Ling Yunzi resolutely. Tu Fang's expression changed slightly. He knew that with Ling Yunzi's stubbornness, nothing he said would change his mind. Then I'll thank seniors again. Long Chen really did need the monastery's support at this time. He didn't need cultivation techniques or battle skills, but he did need medicinal ingredients. Furthermore, he needed a huge amount of those medicinal ingredients to condense the Aelia star. Long Chen suddenly thought of a matter, hesitating for a while. In the end, he took out his soul calming jade and asked, Seniors, do you know the origin of this jade pendant? Seeing the jade in Long Chen's hand, Ling Yunzi and Tu Fang's expressions changed. They were filled with disbelief. Neither of them took the soul calming jade from his hand. Instead, they just carefully examined it for a long time. This should be legendary nine vein soul calming jade. This is the first time I've ever seen it in person. Just where did you get this jade? Asked Ling Yunzi. Wait, no, don't tell me. What do you want to know about it? Just as Long Chen was about to reply, Ling Yunzi stopped him. It'd be better for him not to know that much. Long Chen had just been hesitating whether or not he should really tell them the origin of this jade. Although he knew the two of them were trustworthy, this matter was just too major for him to tell others about. Long Chen sighed in relief that Ling Yunzi didn't want to know. Thank you sect leader. Disciple wants to know about where this soul calming jade comes from and its use. Ling Yunzi nodded. Soul calming jade is a very special item because it is able to accept spiritual strength. That allows it to have many effects. In terms of quality, the first thing to mention is its grade. It is first split into five categories that are very easy to distinguish. Its grade can be determined by their color. They go from white, blue, yellow, green, and then violet. Other than grade, there is also a matter of its texture. Soul calming jade is a natural treasure that is able to absorb natural energy. It can also cultivate just like a person. Each time it matures to a certain point, an extra vein will appear on the jade. The more veins and the higher the grade, the greater the amount of spiritual strength it can endure. However, most soul calming jade is used to make teleportation jade talismans. An ordinary one vein white soul calming jade has a teleportation distance of around 3000 miles. As for nine vein soul calming jade, it has a teleportation distance of 27,000 miles. Although I said soul calming jade can be split into white, blue, yellow, green, and violet grades. I've only personally seen white and blue jade. The rest, I've only heard of. Blue soul calming jade should have a teleportation distance of 30,000 miles. But blue soul calming jade is extremely rare. Our monastery doesn't have it. Only the super monastery has it. I've heard that yellow soul calming jade has other uses other than teleportation. But I'm not sure about the specifics. And so of course I know nothing about your peak tier 9 vein violet soul calming jade. Long Chen was dumbfounded by this explanation. The super monastery had a total of 108 monasteries. It was a huge existence that had existed for tens of thousands of years. And yet, it only had up to blue jade. Then this violet jade his parents had left for him really was too frightening. Just who were his parents? 
They were actually able to use a peak tier soul calming jade as just a keepsake for him. This discovery both excited and saddened Long Chen. He was excited to have found a clue, but this clue told him that he still had a long, long way to go before finding out the secret of his origin. Before arriving at the peak of the martial path, do not try to search for your origins. Those words that terrifying expert had left for him echoed within his mind. He was still far too weak. This discovery depressed him. Saying farewell to the sect leader and Tu Fang, Long Chen returned to the Heaven Earth faction. Tu Fang and Ling Yanzi looked at his back as he left. Ling Yanzi finally sighed. No wonder Long Chen is so mature at such a young age. It seems he is carrying far more on his shoulders than we imagined. Tu Fang also sighed. That's true. Many people have seen his powerful side, but no one knows just how much he had to pay in order to become so strong. Sect leader, are you really planning on supporting Long Chen? Aren't you afraid of the heavenly Deo's karma? Ling Yunzi smiled slightly. I'm not afraid. Didn't I already say that all the consequences will be shouldered by just me? I, Ling Yunzi, have no child or wife. My master has already departed from this world. And I also have no apprentices. Who cares about the backlash of the heavenly Deos? The most it can do is take my life. Is that so terrible? To be able to personally watch as a divergent grows. That is heaven-defying karmic luck. Or perhaps Long Chen's appearance in front of me was all set up by the heavens. Since no one can be sure of what the final result will be, what's the point of being so fearful and worried? It'd be better to just stop having any misjivings and do whatever I want. Tu Fang bitterly smiled. In any case, nothing I say will change your mind. Ling Yunzi said, the heavenly deos are difficult to fathom. The higher your realm, the more the heavenly deos veil themselves. Rather than trying to analyze the heavenly deos, It'd be more interesting to do whatever I want to do. I'm going to do my best to raise Long Chen. HMPH. The other monasteries favored are nothing in front of him. I'm looking forward to see Long Chen dominating in the next competition. You're getting addicted to gambling. Said Tu Fang helplessly. I really am getting a bit addicted. I feel like my bottleneck has loosened a great deal now. Perhaps I'll go into seclusion and try to break through. This time I feel like I have a 30% chance of advancing. A confident light shined in Ling Yunzi's eyes. That high. Tu Fang was shocked. Long Chen's success in the battle also filled me with confidence. HMPH. If I succeed, then during the next competition, I'm definitely going to give a slap to a couple old faces. Ling Yunzi icily snorted. That's right. I forgot to tell Long Chen. He absolutely can't tell Senior Kang Ming about the matter of the chosen position. Otherwise, if Senior Kang Ming learns of it, He'll definitely go slaughter a path to the super monastery. Tu Fang suddenly slapped his leg. You're worrying too much. Long Chen isn't the gossiping type. He probably won't tell this to anyone. Ling Yunzi shook his head. I need to go into seclusion now. The monastery will be in your hands for this time. Remember, give Long Chen everything he needs. Even if he wants to empty the entire monastery of its treasure, let him. Although that was what he said, he knew with Long Chen's character. He definitely wouldn't do anything like that. Tu Fang nodded. He then suddenly asked. What about Elder Sun? Leave it be. Let Long Chen handle it however he wants. It's his life. Tu Fang left Ling Yunzi's immortal cave. Looking down on the scenery below. He suddenly felt that although it looked the same on the outside. The monastery was undergoing a complete transformation. By the time Long Chen returned to the Heaven Earth faction. All the monastery's disciples had already gathered there. They had already set up food and alcohol. They were just waiting for Long Chen. When Long Chen finally arrived, all those disciples cheered. Long Chen's melancholy was immediately blown away by their enthusiasm. Boss, let me tell you, these little fellows are all planning a conspiracy to get you completely drunk. Guo Ran immediately called out from within the crowd. Fuck, Guo Ran, you little traitor. How dare you betray us so quickly? What are you talking about? I've always been on the same side as boss. As if I would ever follow your bad examples. Guo Ran didn't get embarrassed or angry. Instead, he acted completely righteous. Watching this play out, how could Long Chen not realize what was happening? He laughed. Isn't it just drinking alcohol? When have I, Long Chen, ever been afraid of that? Come, me and Guo Ran will challenge you all. Seeing that Long Chen immediately agreed despite knowing their intentions, everyone cheered. That kind of heroism was the same heroism Long Chen had on the battlefield. Let's go. Drink Long Chen into the ground. Brothers, hurry up. Even Tang Wan or Ye's Hikyu, 
and the other women who didn't like drinking alcohol laughed and got a cup, prepared to charge over at any time as well. Victory in that huge battle had not been easy. Over half their monastery's disciples had ended up sacrificing their lives. Everyone had been filled with sorrow. When they had first returned to the monastery, they had all been silent. There hadn't been any party or celebration. But now Long Chen had returned. He was everyone's spiritual pillar. They vowed to drink to their heart's content with Long Chen. That was also a way to vent their feelings. Guo Ran was actually unnerved now. Originally, he had thought that Long Chen would pull in all the brothers of the Heaven Earth faction to drink against everyone else. But now it was just him and Long Chen against everyone. His face was completely green. His capacity for alcohol was definitely not high enough for this. He suddenly cried out, Brothers, just now I succeeded in invading the enemy camp and managed to find out the truth about him. I found out that Long Chen is all alone and won't have any help. Brothers, quick, don't be afraid. Charge with me. Come boss, let me offer you a cup. Guo Ran raised a cup, his face not turning the slightest bit red. Fuck, Guo Ran, you really are becoming more and more shameless. Cursed Long Chen. Boss, that's just what I learned from you. A real man knows better than to fight when the odds are against him. Guo Ran said quietly, quickly drinking his cup. He then cheered on everyone else. Brothers, come. I, Guo Ran, have already taken the first shot. The rest will be up to you all. Hurry up and get out of the way. A large hand quickly pulled Guo Ran aside. Gu Yang stood in front of Long Chen. I, Gu Yang, have to admit that I'm no match for you in terms of combat but I don't believe I also can't drink more than you. Let's start with 10 jugs. Long Chen laughed and didn't waste words. As long as someone came to challenge him, whether it was with cups, bowls, or basins, he would drink just as much as them. Last time when he had been with Shi Feng and them, he hadn't used any key to protect himself. Otherwise, that really would have been bullying them. But this time, everyone was experts. He went all out drinking. At the beginning, Everyone would only come challenge him one by one, but later on, no one was patient enough for that. They all began to drink together, and in the end, everyone else was already passed out drunk around him. Long Chen took one final drink before passing out too. He slept for two full days before awakening. After that huge drinking party, he had relaxed a great deal. Drinking alcohol also had its benefits sometimes. Within a room of the immortal cave, an old stone appeared in Long Chen's hand. A devilish smile appeared on his face. Time to get to business. Chapter 276 A Trade Translator Born to be ever since the battle between the righteous and corrupt paths, Elder Sun had been incredibly depressed. He had failed to kill Long Chen, and Tu Fang had even managed to pick up some clues. Once everyone had returned to the monastery, all the elders had received a huge number of merit points as rewards. However, he had obtained less than half of what the others had. These so-called merit points were essentially what the disciples' points were, but for elders, using those merit points, elders could exchange for whatever cultivation resources they needed from the monastery. If the monastery didn't have it, then they could go to the supermonastery to exchange for it. The supermonastery was a level higher than the monastery, and it contained all kinds of treasures. Of course, the prerequisite was that you had enough merit points. Merit points were essential for elders. Their main source of merit points was from their monthly rations, but participating in a huge battle would naturally earn you many more. During most of the battles between the righteous and corrupt paths, these elders would obtain around a year's worth of resources. However, during the battle this time, the elders had not just been bystanders, but had personally taken action, undergoing a life and death battle, and so the rewards for this battle were much more plentiful, equivalent to around 10 years of working in the monastery. The other elders had gone crazy with joy. Only Elder Sun's reward had been cut in half. But he also didn't dare argue. That was because when Elder Tu Fang had given him his rewards, he had said, the rewards are given out in accordance to how much effort you put in. You understand. Hearing him say you understand, Elder Sun's complaints died in his stomach. Elder Sun had gloomily returned to his immortal cave. The next day, a piece of news came that infuriated him even more. An elder who had fought remarkably during that battle was replacing him as the elder in charge of the Zhuanshan Pavilion. That news made him almost explode in fury. The monthly rations for elders were split in accordance to their position. He had been in charge of the Zhuanshan Pavilion for decades. He hadn't expected Tu Fang to be so vicious and take away that position. He was now essentially a sinecure elder. A sinecure elder had no position and would get the lowest amount of rations. 
Even amongst the other elders of the monastery, he had been a high-ranking figure. The other elders would all have to be courteous when speaking to him. But now because of just an accident, he had been suspended from his position. Without those resources, he would have to live sparingly and his cultivation would stall. Due to that, Elder Sun had thickened his face and quietly gone to find Tu Fang to ask why he had done this. And Tu Fang's reply had almost made him explode. You understand. Elder Sun had directly returned to his immortal cave and destroyed all his decorations and ornaments in his fury. He swore that if Tu Fang dared say those words to him again, he would throttle him. During these days, Elder Sun had been unable to eat well, had been unable to sleep properly, and hadn't had the heart to cultivate. He felt he might go crazy from his fury. He knew Tu Fang was doing this because of his hidden trick. Tu Fang had failed to charge him for the matter of letting that corrupt elder attack Long Chen because of his perfect cover-up. This was just Tu Fang's petty revenge after not being able to take him in. On this day, Elder Sun had finally not been able to bear it any longer and had once more smashed apart the decorations of his immortal cave that had only just been replaced, making him feel much better. Reporting to Elder, Long Chen had come to see you. Just as Elder Sun's mood had recovered a bit, Long Chen came in. Seeing the mess of his immortal cave, he clapped. Elder Sun really is amazing. You actually exercise so early in the morning. Long Chen, you better stop boasting around me. Speak. What do you want? If you only came here to laugh at me, then get lost. Elder Sun gloomily glared at Long Chen. Long Chen was currently smiling like he had been blessed by the heavens. That caused Elder Sun's fury to immediately reignite. Having lived for so long, you should try to stop getting so angry. Don't the book say that people who can resist negativity have the strongest willpower? Looking at how negative you are, I'd say you need to work on that. Sighed Long Chen. Are you looking to die? Raged Elder Sun Long Chen's insult of being a negative person was directed to those male cultivators who trained in yin techniques. Becoming neither yin or yang. Ending up neither male or female. Looking for crap. One? Correct. Otherwise why would I be here? I came here precisely to look for a piece of crap like you. Long Chen. Don't make me kill you. Elder Sun's eyes were completely red. And his aura completely erupted out. He was on the verge of going out of control. First of all, you aren't able to kill me. Even if I don't have Chu Yao's support, you aren't able to kill me instantly. Attacking me would just be a waste of energy. And furthermore, if you do attack, you'll regret it for a lifetime. That's because you'll lose any chance of obtaining that thing you long for even in your dreams. Long Chen picked up a chair that only had a single leg broken. Leaning it against the wall, he sat on it comfortably, crossing his legs. Looking at Elder Sun nonchalantly, Elder Sun knew Long Chen really was a monster. Even if he didn't have Chu Yao's help, there was no way he would be able to kill him within just two or three moves. And if he did try, his full strength would immediately break apart this immortal cave and attract other experts. And he also knew that killing Long Chen was an impossibility. Those words he had said were just because he was infuriated. However, hearing the last thing Long Chen said, he frowned. What do you mean? I want to make a trade with you. Long Chen lightly brushed off some dust on his sleeve that had come from when he had picked up the chair. What trade? What are you still putting up an act for? What do I have that you constantly want? Don't try and fake it. Long Chen coldly snorted disdainfully. Nonsense. What are you saying? Raged Elder Sun it was true he wanted something from Long Chen. But he couldn't admit that. It's not that I want to look down on you. But I really look down on you. Long Chen disdainfully shook his head. An old stone appeared in his hand. There were some strange diagrams on it that released an ancient aura. Elder Sun's pupil shrunk the moment he saw that stone. He could tell that this stone was black zirconium. It was incredibly hard, and blades were unable to harm it. Black zirconium was an extremely rare forging material, but its most amazing point was that it was used to pass down powerful cultivation techniques and battle skills. Experts would carve their powerful techniques onto black zirconium. That black zirconium would manage to preserve a portion of that expert's will and intent. That allowed later generations to comprehend it easier. Furthermore, Long Chen's black zirconium also contained that will and intent. Although it was a bit faint, someone as powerful as Elder Sun was easily capable of sensing it. Originally I had wanted to make a trade with you. Unfortunately, you really are too shameless and refuse to admit to anything. Then just forget about it. You can continue acting like a hypocrite. Sneered Long Chen, standing up to leave. Wait a minute Elder Sun hastily called out. Long Chen turned back to glance at him. Why do you want me to wait? You want to kill me to silence me? 
Then let me say it again. It's not that I want to look down on you, but I really do look down on you. Elder Sun immediately reddened. Long Chen's words really were too insulting, but for this treasure, he could only endure. What do you want in trade? Elder Sun was extremely astute. He had investigated Long Chen's origin. According to Long Chen's status, there was no way he could recognize Black Zirconium, and so the chance of it being fake was not very high. Furthermore, Black Zirconium was incomparably hard. To carve diagrams on it required at least a Xi'anchen cultivation base. Long Chen wouldn't be able to fake it even if he wanted to. The third point that proved it was true was the aura coming from that black zirconium. It was the exact same as the aura from Long Chen's divine ring. Those three points all made Elder Sun believe this really was Long Chen's divine ring technique. He didn't know what Long Chen's goal was, but Elder Sun really had been greedy for Long Chen's cultivation technique for a long time. If there was a chance of him obtaining it, he definitely couldn't let it slip by him. A trade has to be done amicably. Business must be done without anger. Otherwise neither party will get rich. Your previous words have really ruined my mood. I don't think I want to trade with you. Long Chen turned to leave. Elder Sun hastily moved in front of him. This was an extremely rare opportunity. He couldn't let it slip by. Or he would regret it for a lifetime. Long Chen. All things can be discussed. Why don't you calm down first? Elder Sun's face really was as thick as tree bark. He actually smiled amicably. You want me to calm down? All right. Then first you have to admit that your previous words were just a fart. Dot. Fine. I admit that everything I said before was just a fart. After hesitating for a moment, Elder Sun saw that Long Chen was about to leave and hastily called out. Ah. As expected of an eight temper elder. This fart really was strong. Admirable. Really admirable. Long Chen laughed. Elder Sun's expression was rather ugly. And killing intent was surging behind his eyes. Long Chen was nakedly insulting him, but in order to obtain that divine cultivation technique, he had to temporarily restrain himself. But inside, he was plotting how to quietly kill Long Chen as soon as he managed to obtain his cultivation technique. Seeing that fake calmness and that inconcealable hate in his eyes, Long Chen sneered inside. You old fogey, you want my life? I'll properly play with you till you're dead. Looking at Long Chen's cold smile, for some reason, Elder Sun began to get a bad feeling. Tell me what you want. But remember, a trade has to be fair. Don't bother trying to ask for too much. Elder Sun wasn't a fool. He couldn't let Long Chen ask for too much. So he first spoke out to give himself an opportunity to haggle. Long Chen handed over a sheet of paper. Gather up everything on this page. Taking that page and giving it a look over. Elder Sun's expression changed. Absolutely not. Chapter 277 Grand Masterpiece Translator Born to be absolutely not. Elder Sun's expression was ugly as he looked at that page. There's not even some of these in the entire monastery. You're clearly just trying to rip me off. How am I supposed to get this many medicinal ingredients? Long Chen's page had hundreds of precious medicinal ingredients listed on them. Some of them were ones that Elder Sun had never even heard of. And if it was just these medicinal ingredients, then that would be one thing. The main point was that the amounts Long Chen wanted of each one was too shocking. Most of the time, medicinal ingredients were measured in terms of grams, but Long Chen required pounds of them. He wanted a hundred pounds for each medicinal ingredient. In total, he was asking for tens of thousands of pounds of precious medicinal ingredients. Aren't you just wasting words? If I could find them, why would I ask for an idiot like you to do it for me? Don't bother wasting your time. Will you do it or not? Snorted Long Chen. This list contained ingredients for the Aleph pill as well as another couple medicinal ingredients he needed for various pills. There were also various ingredients that were common secondary ingredients for a large number of pills. This time Long Chen really had been ruthless. He asked for a hundred pounds of each of those. You want my life? You want my technique? Then let me help you out. But then you also don't need this much. A hundred pounds of each of them? Do you think these medicinal ingredients are just cabbages? Raged Elder Sun what do you care? Even if I wanted to use these medicinal ingredients to use as firewood, it wouldn't have anything to do with you. If you want to accept this trade, then accept. If you don't, then that's fine too. Sneered Long Chen. You. No. It's too much. With my merit points, there's no way I could buy this much. You have to cut it down. At most, I can only get you half of this amount. Elder Sun shook his head. Long Chen icily snorted and ignored him, going to leave. Hey, what are you doing? Elder Sun hastily called out. 
I'm going to go have a talk with Elder Tu Fang. I wonder whether I can obtain the things I want by offering my cultivation technique to the monastery. Long Chen wondered as he walked. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Let's keep discussing. There's nothing to discuss, said Long Chen decisively. Elder Sun grit his teeth. Fine, I'll accept. Long Chen smiled and directly handed that black zirconium to Elder Sun. Stop dreaming. This cultivation technique of mine is split into upper and lower portions. This is just my advance payment so that you know it's not a fake. If you want the lower portion, you better gather up everything and give it to me. Of course, if you want to try and be smart you can try and experiment to figure out the lower portion. But let me say this one more time. It's not that I want to look down on you, but I really look down on you. After he finished speaking, Long Chen left, leaving behind a furious elder son holding that black zirconium. When Long Chen finally disappeared, Elder Sun's fury was replaced with absolute delight. Fuck, if I had known it would be this easy, why would I have bothered with targeting him? Elder Sun was delighted by how easy this had been. Although Long Chen's requirements were very high, it was still within the limit that Elder Sun could accept. He carefully examined this black zirconium. It was the size of an egg, and here was a diagram carved on top of it. However, that diagram wasn't complete, but even though it was just a portion, he could see that it was a diagram of a person's meridians. There were lines showing how to circulate energy. Elder Sun stared at it for half a day, becoming more and more delighted. He found that this way of circulating energy was extremely profound and complicated. Although this was still just a portion of it, it was enough to awe him. What a powerful cultivation technique. This time I've really struck gold. Elder Sun couldn't hold back a laugh. He confidently said to himself, for such a powerful cultivation technique to be obtained by a little blood condensation amateur really is a waste. Once I obtain the full technique, I'll definitely be able to advance to meridian opening. He, then I'll easily kill Long Chen. Who cares if I have to betray the Zhuanshan Monastery? The heavens are so large. As long as I don't run into any Xianshan experts, who would dare block me? Elder Sun seemed to envision a scene of him advancing into meridian opening, traveling freely throughout the heavens arrogantly looking down on all. Only after a long time did he come back to his senses. He continued examining that black zirconium. On the front side was that partial diagram, but there was also an ancient character on the back. Elder Sun examined it for a while before recognizing it to be the character for Rebel, but the character was written in an extremely odd archaic manner, and not the standard ancient form. 1. Looks like this cultivation technique is extremely ancient. That brat Long Chen must definitely have some heaven defying luck. Side Elder Sun, he continued examining the diagram for a while, but he found that this technique was extremely profound, and there was no way that he could figure out the whole thing just by relying on this portion. Of course, that was also why Long Chen had given it to him so easily. However, obtaining this black zirconium did fill Elder Sun with greater confidence. It seemed Long Chen really did want to go through with this trade. As for why Long Chen had chosen him to trade for those things, that did make him suspicious. However, given how much Long Chen had asked for, his worries were lessened a great deal. Let alone Long Chen, even elders who had worked decades in the monastery wouldn't be able to buy all the medicinal ingredients Long Chen had requested. However, Elder Sun had worked in the monastery for a very long time, and he had also had the lucrative position in charge of the Zhuanshan Pavilion for decades, so he had a great deal of savings. Long Chen's request would be extremely painful for him to fulfill, but he could still do it. However, half of all his savings would be gone. But more importantly, most of these medicinal ingredients could not be found in the monastery. He had to make a trip to the Supermonastery to buy them. That very day, Elder Sun left to go to the Supermonastery, purchasing all the ingredients listed on Long Chen's list. Elder Sun's actions were completely in Long Chen's expectations. Although he knew that coming to find him at this time would definitely raise his suspicions, Long Chen was sure that by proposing such a high trade request and by also giving him half of his reward at the beginning, that old fellow would definitely take the bait noveloon.com once he left Elder Sun's immortal cave. Long Chen saw that everyone had already awakened from their drinking contest and had secluded themselves. That huge battle had been extremely beneficial to them. Since Long Chen had returned and their hearts had been steadied, they all secluded themselves in order to absorb all the benefits of that battle. Returning to his immortal cave, he saw that Tang Wan Er and King Yu were both in a meditative state, and so he didn't bother them. He then went to go find Wild, but found that Ian Little Snow had disappeared. 
After asking some workers, he found out the two of them had gone hunting with Kang Ming. Wild had been starving the entire time during these past few days. Ordinary magical beasts were unable to allay his hunger. As soon as he had returned to the monastery, he had gone to see his master to get some food. Little Snow was similar to him in that he required meat to cultivate, and so Wild had naturally brought Little Snow along as well. Seeing everyone in seclusion, Long Chen didn't even know what he should do. He was still waiting for news from Elder Sun. He trusted Elder Sun would be even more impatient than him. He was probably gathering the medicinal ingredients as quickly as he could. After thinking about it for a bit, Long Chen decided to go visit Guo Ran. Guo Ran's immortal cave was the most isolated of all the immortal caves. As soon as Long Chen approached, he heard loud clanking and banging, the sound of forging, coming from within. Entering his immortal cave, he saw the entire ground was covered with junk. Iron fragments were everywhere, as well as a couple failed items. Even though Long Chen had arrived, Guo Ran's head was still down. He was constantly beating something on his huge forging table. That forging table was exceptionally large. It was covered with all kinds of forging utensils. From a distance, it almost looked like a beast made of ironware. It was no wonder Tang Wan'er had grumbled to him that Guo Ran was spending more and more. He had constantly been asking for more points from her. Most likely, Guo Ran was planning on changing profession to become more of a forger than a cultivator. Seeing him so focused on what he was working on, Long Chen sighed. Even this little fellow can be serious sometimes. As he got closer, Long Chen saw Guo Ran was using a set of pliers to hold a 9-inch steel nail. That steel nail had only just been taken out of the furnace beside him. His right hand held a hammer that was smashing down over and over. Sparks flying. That steel nail's head was gradually turning black as it was struck by the hammer. Long Chen saw that dense lines covered the top of the nail. Although Long Chen didn't understand much about forging, he knew that a single line would appear after that steel nail was tempered once. Within Phoenix Cry, the majority of weapons had only gone through a single tempering. That was because Phoenix Cry's forgers were just ordinary blacksmiths, and were unable to temper their weapons a second time. They weren't skillful or strong enough, and so when they tried to let their weapons undergo a second tempering, they would automatically burst apart. That was why ordinary weapons were only tempered once, and only had one line when created. After it cooled off, that line would fade, but professionals would all be able to tell just how many times a weapon had been tempered. Furthermore, it was said that good weapons were all tempered at least 10 times. The more times a weapon was tempered, the less impurities it would contain. It was said that steel could be tempered up to 100 times. Although steel was just a very ordinary metal, after being tempered a 100 times, its hardness would be absolutely shocking. That level of steel was capable of even piercing through the armor of a third-rank magical beast. The steel nail in Guo Ran's hand had tens of lines, showing how many times it had been tempered by him. Guo Ran had remained focused this entire time. When the nail's color had changed to a certain level, he immediately threw it into the water bucket beside him. The water boiled for a moment before quickly calming back down. Guo Ran carefully took out the steel nail and examined it. But when he went to examine it, he also saw Long Chen standing in front of him. Boss Ah, Guo Ran was given a fright, and his hand loosened for a moment, dropping that nail onto his foot. But he was fortunate that the nail landed on its side. Otherwise with how sharp he had made it, his foot would have acquired a new hole. However, that nail, which was only the thickness of a single finger, was still dozens of pounds. Having it smash on his foot still made him yelp in pain. Looks like if you ever leave the monastery, you'll still be able to feed yourself by being a blacksmith. Long Chen laughed. Guo Ran rubbed his foot vexedly. Boss, if you discriminate against me, you'll be discriminating against a future crafting god. You have to apologize. Long Chen couldn't help laughing. Fine. If you can show me any of the style of a crafting god, I will apologize. Guo Ran brightened. He, boss, don't eat your words. I'll let you see what is called a grand masterpiece. Chapter 278 Void Breaker Crossbow Translator Born to be Guo Ran touched his spatial ring and took out a huge crossbow. It wasn't the same as ordinary crossbows. Its crossbow limit the front was completely straight. The bowstring was golden, and the two ends were wrapped around two cylindrical wheels. That string seemed to have been wrapped around the crossbow randomly in an incomprehensible manner. The crossbow was almost six feet long, around the same height as an average person. It was made entirely of the finest steel that had been tempered a hundred times. Just by looking at it, it was possible to tell that it was shockingly heavy. 
Guo Ran was extremely proud of this crossbow. He wished he could show it off grandly, but it was actually too heavy for him to carry, so he could only lay it on the ground. Cough. So, what do you think boss? This is my new invention. I call it Void Breaker. Can you help me shoot out an arrow? Asked Guo Ran with embarrassment. Long Chen didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Are you telling me you can't even use your own invention? How are you supposed to fight enemies like this? Why didn't you make it lighter? Guo Ran was bitter. I wish it could be lighter. But in order to increase its power, the crossbow's hardness had to be pushed to the peak. Otherwise it wouldn't have its optimal power. Fine. I'll help you test it. Long Chen went to pick it up. It was no wonder Guo Ran was unable to use it. It had to be at least 70,000 pounds. Wow. It really is heavy. I hope its power doesn't disappoint. Long Chen was a bit shocked. Although this weight wasn't much to him, an ordinary tendon transformation expert was unable to use it. Don't worry boss. Even Senior Kang Ming endlessly praised this invention of mine. Guo Ran said with pride. Senior Kang Ming has seen this crossbow. Of course. He even praised me. What did he say? Are you ready? That old man said I was extremely good at boasting. Hey, boss. Stop looking about me so disdainfully. Senior Kang Ming is our monastery's number one forging master. Obtaining his praise is extremely difficult. Seeing Long Chen's disdainful expression, Guo Ran was a bit irritated. That is true. With how prideful Senior Kang Ming, just him praising you as being good at boasting is also a positive for you. Long Chen nodded. Of course. At the beginning when I showed it to him, after praising my boasting, he said my boasting wasn't good enough and gave me a couple new ones. He, that let my void breaker become even stronger, said Guo Ran excitedly. The bowstrings Kang Ming had given him were all made of mithril. Mithril was an extremely soft metal, but its toughness was absolutely alarming. It was the best material for bowstrings. However, mithril was an incredibly precious metal. Guo Ran didn't have the qualifications to obtain it yet. And even if he did, then with his still amateur techniques, he wouldn't be able to use it properly. And so obtaining this bowstring from Kang Ming was not only a sign of Kang Ming's approval, but it also affirmed his own confidence in himself. Long Chen really was surprised that Kang Ming would look so favorably on this crossbow. Just what mystery was behind that? He began to pull back the string. As he pulled, the two wheels to the side also moved slightly. The messy bowstring also gradually became taut. Nice. That's a pretty smart move. Long Chen realized that Guo Ran had used a clever technique to use the wheels to reduce how hard you had to pull in order to knock the crossbow. But there were springs inside, and when the string was released, the wheels would immediately release their energy to increase the force. He, back when you went to the rubble wasteland, you told me my talent was just ordinary and that I needed to find an alternative route to stand out. Afterwards, I thought about it, and realized you were right. I can't just keep following the same old path without trying anything new. And now, I've ended up being fascinated by mechanism and forging arts. Although I've only reached the entry level, I really do like these playthings. Sometimes I'll even think about them while dreaming. I've tasted the sweet taste of success in battle. I swear that I will become a grand craftsman now, said Guo Ran with confidence. Long Chen was surprised Guo Ran had become so devoted, thinking of how he had laughed at him before. Long Chen felt a bit bad. Your brother apologizes to you. I shouldn't have ridiculed you. Guo Ran laughed. Boss, you don't need to say that. I know you were joking. Long Chen said. No, I was serious. Long Chen stopped joking around and began to really pull on the bowstring. He was surprised that even with the help of the cylindrical wheels, it still needed a shocking amount of force to pull back. Finally when the crossbow was fully knocked, even the crossbow limb at the front had curved like a crescent moon. Just looking at this taut crossbow gave Long Chen a chill. If an arrow was shot out with that kind of force, it would definitely be shockingly powerful. Guo Ran, you aren't able to use this crossbow for now. Without 200,000 pounds of force, you won't be able to fully knock it, said Long Chen with worry. Guo Ran was bitter. That's also the most vexing thing for me. My spirit root is average, my physical body is average, and my soul is also average. In total, I am the averagest of all averages. When I managed to make this amazing void breaking crossbow, I thought I'd be able to exterminate one or two favored, but, no matter what, I can't even carry it, it's the most depressing thing ever, it can kill favored, Long Chen was startled, Guo Ran confidently said, right now it's still in its embryonic state, once I do a couple experiments and perfect it, I'm certain that it will be able to kill favored, 
Boss, take a look at the arrow. Guo Ran went deeper into his immortal cave and came back out with an arrow. Long Chen carefully examined it. How was this thing even an arrow? It was more like a short spear. It had to be five feet long and as thick as an egg. It was clearly also a new invention of Guo Ran's. And as soon as he lifted the arrow, he found that it had to be over 10,000 pounds. There were also many little grooves along the shaft. Looking at those little grooves, Long Chen exclaimed, Guo Ran, you really are a genius. Boss, you know what those grooves are for. Guo Ran was surprised. If my guess is right, these grooves should be to lessen the air resistance, allowing it to fly faster as well as letting it fly silently. The faster something moved through the air, the more drag and resistance it would meet, eventually causing a sonic boom. That was a law of physics. But these little grooves were able to prevent that, allowing it to kill others silently. By the time anyone sensed it, it would already be too late. Boss really is boss. I had to research and experiment for a long time before figuring this out. But boss figured it out with just a glance. Said Guo Ran with worship. Haha, <laughs> let's stop shamelessly boasting about each other. Let's test it out. The two of them left the monastery and found a small mountain. That was a stone mountain over 40 meters tall. Let's try it out. Long Chen aimed the crossbow at that mountain from 5 miles away. With the light release of a lock, the arrow shot out like lightning. The instant that arrow shot out, Long Chen felt a huge backlash and he involuntarily stumbled back a dozen steps. Boom Novaloon.com That small mountain exploded to pieces from that arrow, dust filling the air. Long Chen and Guo Ran were dumbfounded. Even Guo Ran hadn't expected this. Although he had personally made it, he had never had the strength required to use it. Today was his first time seeing it in action. That arrow hadn't had any explosives in it. This explosion had been considered entirely due to the power of inertia behind that arrow. Just that inertia possessed the shocking power to break apart a small mountain. And most frightening of all, while it had been flying through the air, there hadn't been the slightest sound. A perfect sneak attack. Both Long Chen and Guo Ran looked at each other with a wicked light shining in their eyes. They laughed. They had actually said the same thing at the same time. With this kind of weapon, Guo Ran's killing power would definitely be alarmingly high. However, after laughing for a moment, Guo Ran could no longer laugh. No matter how amazing it was, if he couldn't use it, then it was useless. Long Chen might be able to use it, but he preferred to face his opponents head on, fighting on the front lines. He would never have an opportunity to use this Void Breaker crossbow. Long Chen patted Guo Ran on the shoulders. Don't worry, leave this to me. Really aren't you just wasting words? When have I ever tricked you? Asked Long Chen. But there is one thing I have to make clear to you first. You have to keep your Dao heart steady. If you can keep a steady Dao heart, I can guarantee that you'll advance without bottlenecks for your whole life. How is that possible? Guo Ran was filled with disbelief. Live a whole life without bottlenecks? Not even a god would necessarily be able to do that. As long as you can keep a steady Dao heart, I can accomplish that said Long Chen solemnly. Boss, what is this Dao heart? Asked Guo Ran. A Dao heart is a kind of a belief, a kind of conviction in your own truths that will never change. Each person's beliefs are different. For example, you might believe in your inventions and creations, believing that you can use smarts to overcome any difficulties and become a revered crafting god. That will be your Dao heart. As long as you can let your Dao heart stay unrattled, I can use medicinal pills to constantly raise your cultivation base. However, once a problem occurs with your Dao heart, once you start to feel lost or begin to doubt in your own choices, your cultivation base will forever stall, warned Long Chen. Each person's Dao heart was different. Some people believed in their inheritance. Some people believed in their cultivation technique. Some people believed in their bloodlines. And some people believed they were simply the geniuses of heaven. No matter what kind of Dao heart you had, it had to go through endless tempering. Many people ended up losing more and more confidence as they went through that tempering. In the end, they lost sight of what they were supposed to believe in. Even people with extremely stable Dao hearts were unable to keep them perfect forever. If they received a large enough impact, that would make it impossible for them to advance to become experts in the future. As for Guo Ran, his Dao heart would be extremely dangerous. Once his smarts failed and he lost sight of what he wanted from forging, he would lose his path and become lost. That would be especially terrible for Guo Ran, as his foundation would have been built up by medicinal pills. He would never have a chance to form a new Dao heart if his old one was shattered. Boss, I'll definitely succeed in becoming a crafting god. If Guo Ran didn't succeed in this path, he would forever be lost. 
But Guo Ran was determined. Long Chen nodded. Since he had made this choice, then Long Chen would go all out to help him. As for how far Guo Ran could go, that would be up to him. After all, Guo Ran's latest invention, this crossbow, was something that even Long Chen admired. Guo Ran was definitely a genius. He could think of all sorts of crazy inventions. The next day, Long Chen was looking for something to do when Elder Sun returned. Chapter 279 Obtaining Medicinal Ingredients Translator Born to be Long Chen was pleased to see the many medicinal ingredients packed into this spatial ring. Elder Sun really was efficient. What Long Chen didn't know was how much pain Elder Sun was in. His lifetime savings had been cut by over half for those medicinal ingredients. Long Chen, hand over the lower portion of that cultivation technique. Elder Sun was extremely gloomy, but there was also a trace of excitement and nervousness in his voice. Long Chen checked the medicinal ingredients and saw they were the exact ones written on the list, delighting him. After that huge battle, they had passed down a huge number of points. Tang Wan'er and the other core disciples had gained over a million points. Even ordinary disciples earned hundreds of thousands of points. To those disciples, that was an absolutely enormous amount. But for Long Chen, they were practically nothing. And that was why Long Chen had placed his sights on a fat sheep like Elder Sun. The disciples' points were incomparable to the Elder's merit points. Some things couldn't even be exchanged for with disciple points. And even if they could obtain them, it would be incredibly expensive. These medicinal ingredients in this spatial ring would have definitely cost over a hundred million points. And even then, that was just a rough estimate. It could easily be more. Furthermore, many of them were unobtainable within the monastery. Elder Sun had gone to the Super Monastery for them. What? Are you reneging? Seeing how sinister Long Chen's smile was, Elder Sun's heart jumped. This trait of theirs was completely secret. There was no one to witness it as proof. If Long Chen refused to go through with it, that would be extremely troublesome. What nonsense. Do you think I'm such a person? Long Chen snorted. He threw a piece of black zirconium to Elder Sun. Elder Sun hastily grabbed it. It was the exact same form as that previous black zirconium. On the front side was a complicated diagram of meridians, and there was an ancient character on the back. Kill. 1. This new black zirconium had the character for kill on the back of it. When combined with the previous rebel character, would it be kill rebels? Or rebels kill? But no matter what, those two words were incredibly domineering. He. Thank you. I'll leave for now. Elder Sun was delighted. Long Chen nodded. Okay then you can go back. If there's anything else, you can come find me. Long Chen just lightly waved, acting as if he were saying goodbye to a member of the junior generation. That was greatly displeasing to Elder Sun all right. I'll definitely come find you in the future. Elder Sun laughed amicably, but a cold light shined within his eyes. Although he had managed to obtain the cultivation technique, he had taken a severe blow to his savings, which made him extremely irritated. And now to protect this secret, he would naturally have to go find Long Chen later. Seeing Elder Sun's departing back, Long Chen sneered mockingly. I know you'll definitely come find me again, but it probably won't be for what you're thinking of. Long Chen returned to his immortal cave and saw Tang Wan Er standing at the front of it. She suspiciously asked, What kind of shady business are you up to again? Slander. This is definitely slander. I'm getting angry because of it. TCH. You think I still don't understand you? Speak. What kind of secret trade were you and Elder Sun up to? Tang Wan'er didn't fall for Long Chen's little act at all. Tang Wan'er had just exited seclusion. When she had looked down the mountain, she had happened to see Long Chen and Elder Sun amicably discussing something. There's nothing. You also know that I'm a highly principled man. A highly righteous man who will never hold a grudge. Long Chen smiled. As if anyone would believe you. You don't hold grudges because you always get all your revenge on those people immediately. So of course there's no grudges to hold anymore. Hurry up and tell me what Elder Sun came for. Tang Wan'er glared at Long Chen. She definitely wouldn't let him off before telling her. You really want to know. Long Chen seemed somewhat troubled. Hurry up and tell me. Long Chen helplessly sighed. Women really were troublesome sometimes. He supposed it was best for him to tell the truth. After this huge battle this time, Elder Sun saw that my bones were pure. That my forehead was full that I was a rare martial genius found only once in 10,000 years get to the point. Tang Wan'er frowned. She already knew Long Chen was messing around again. Fine. He wants to take me as master. Tang Wan'er immediately hit Long Chen with a fist and rebuked. Stop being flippant. Tell the truth. It is the truth. 
He even sent me a gift for accepting him as an apprentice. I said I'd think it over and told him to leave for now, but I didn't feel like it would be right to also reject his gift. If I didn't even accept his gift, I definitely feel apologetic to him. Long Chen seemed so embarrassed to talk about that. He even handed over the spatial ring to Tang Wan'er. Tang Wan'er had been holding back a laugh, but then seeing the mountains of precious medicinal ingredients piled within that spatial ring, her smile disappeared. She covered her mouth, her eyes filled with shock. Although Tang Wan'er wasn't an alchemist, she still recognized a couple high-tier medicinal ingredients. These ingredients had to cost several thousand or even ten thousand points for a single one, but they were piled up like mountains inside this spatial ring. Is this real? muttered Tang Wan'er. Of course, it's true. Who do you think I, Long Chen, am? As long as I make a public declaration, who knows how many people would come begging at my door to take me as master. If I, it is real. Tang Wan'er had taken out a medicinal ingredients and smelled it. That scent proved it was real. As for Long Chen, he was in the middle of gesturing passionately about how amazing he was when he realized she wasn't even looking at him. He had no choice but to stop. He looked it up at the clouds in the sky. Hmm? You aren't bragging anymore. Looking at Long Chen acting like this. Tang Wan'er smiled. It's too boring. I've bragged to the point that even I don't believe me anymore. Long Chen shook his head. Sometimes I really wonder Long Chen. Do you never feel worried about anything? How are you so sloppy all the time? Tang Wan'er blushed a bit at that last bit. As such a crude word was embarrassing for a lady to say out loud. But Long Chen didn't care about that. Looking up at the clouds, he said, being sloppy isn't a bad thing either. Otherwise if you end up caring about every little thing, wouldn't you worry yourself to death? For some reason, when she looked at Long Chen this time, although she could see his expression was still unworried and uncaring, she could also see a trace of loneliness in his eyes. Perhaps if it had been the old her who hadn't absorbed the Dao mark, she would not have been able to sense that. But after becoming a favored, she could sense that loneliness from Long Chen. That kind of loneliness wasn't about how many people were by his side. It was loneliness that existed despite being surrounded by people. It was as if the entire world was rejecting him. Or perhaps it could be said that he was rejecting the entire world. Tang Wan'er gently held his hand. Long Chen, no matter what worries you have, you can tell me. I will share any burden you have. Having Tang Wan'er's tender hand holding his own. Long Chen's heart filled with warmth. Tang Wan'er was as beautiful as a flower. Her pretty face touched with a dab of shyness. She was like the cherry blossoms blooming. So beautiful that people didn't dare to profane her. Tang Wan'er had always been beautiful. But looking at her now, in this situation with these feelings, Long Chen felt Tang Wan'er was more beautiful than ever. His heart was pounding faster and faster. Tang Wan'er also began to breathe a bit faster. The two of them were pulling closer and closer to each other. Being stared at by Long Chen like this, Tang Wan'er didn't dare to meet his eyes. She closed her eyes, her lips opening ever so slightly. Long Chen was unable to resist that beauty, and gave her a deep kiss. Tang Wan'er let out a gentle gasp, involuntarily holding Long Chen tightly, her body limp and powerless. Long Chen felt as if his head was buzzing. All his heart and mind were focused on the feeling of those lips. Cough. Suddenly, a light cough rang out. It wasn't loud, but to the two of them, it rang out like thunder. The two of them instantly separated. Seeing King Yu helplessly looking at the two of them, Tang Wan'er's face was twisted with embarrassment. She lowered her head, quickly running into the immortal cave and tightly locking it behind her, refusing to come back out. Even with Long Chen's thick skin, being caught like this made him blush fiercely. Ah, Sister King Yu, he, how coincidental. Tang Wan'er might be able to run, but Long Chen couldn't. As a man, he had to face this. Sister King Yu, don't misunderstand. I've been a bit unwell these past few days and I ended up with a couple sores on my tongue. I was just asking Tang Wan'er to help me take out the blood from those sores. There really was nothing, explained Long Chen. But after that explanation, not even he felt that anyone would believe him. King Yu shook her head and sighed. You two, you're both grown up now and know how you should act. I know you two like each other, but the relations between a man and a woman are like dry firewood that can ignite with a single spark. If you two can't hold back, you'd end up hurting one or understand. Long Chen nodded, completely serious. Sister King Yu, I understand. I know you two will hold back and not take that final step, but something like this could still impact your Dao hearts. You might lose your way, stalling your cultivation. So don't blame your sister King Yu for being long-winded, admonished King Yu. 
If a woman lost her chastity before reaching the Xi'anchen realm, she would be unable to maintain her pure Yun body. No matter how good her talent had been, it would be wasted. This was the first time Long Chen didn't feel that King Yu was long-winded. At the same time, he also scolded himself. This was the result of playing with fire. On the off chance he couldn't hold back, he would regret it for a lifetime. Six hours later, who knew whether King Yu had gotten tired or whether she felt Long Chen had been properly scolded, but she finally returned within the immortal cave. But when Long Chen saw King Yu knock on Tang Wanner's door, he saw that Tang Wanner refused to open the door no matter what. In the end, she had no choice but to drop the subject. Perhaps she would have a chance to make up this lesson to Tang Wanner after a few days. Long Chen returned to his room and began to refine those medicinal ingredients into powder, storing them inside jade bottles with tags. That would be much more convenient when he refined in the future. He could save a great deal of time when he finally refined these powders into pills. Two days passed as he refined these medicinal powders before Elder Sun angrily called for him. Chapter 280 Furious Elder Sun Translator Born to be Long Chen Get the hell out here. Elder Sun arrived at Long Chen's immortal cave so angry that his hair was standing on end. An ominous glint shining in his eyes. Tang Wanner and King Yu were both given a fright and they came out to look. Long Chen unhurriedly came out of his room. Seeing Elder Sun who was so angry that smoke was practically coming out of his pores. He shook his head. For good or bad, you're still an elder of our monastery. Don't you feel that shouting abuse and curses so loudly and in the morning is a bit tasteless? Mocked Long Chen. Shut up. Long Chen. You dare cheat me. The thing you gave me wasn't a complete set at all. Elder Sun clenched his teeth. But at least he hadn't lost his mind in his anger. And he didn't mention that the thing was his cultivation technique. So what if it wasn't a complete set? You. You clearly said that thing was split into two portions. An upper and lower portion. Long Chen waved his hand. Indicating for him to shut up. He righteously explained. Elder Sun. I seem to recall that although I said it was split into upper and lower portions, I didn't say there were only two. What nonsense. An upper and lower portion is two portions. You're wrong. The upper portion is only one part, but the lower portion is split into two parts. I gave you the lower part of the lower portion. Long Chen shrugged helplessly. Bastard. That's clearly an upper, middle, lower portion split. What am I supposed to do with just the upper and lower portion? Elder Sun raged. When he had obtained both those black zirconiums, he had returned to his immortal cave to research them, finding that it was really incomparably profound. But when he tried to circulate a spiritual key in accordance to those diagrams, he found that he was unable to undergo a full circulation. After testing it several times without succeeding, he had finally undergone one test where his meridians had almost exploded from the forceful circulation. Feeling that something was wrong, he had studied the diagrams for two full days finally coming to the conclusion that he was still missing a portion, that infuriated him so much that he almost coughed up blood. Naturally he had come to find Long Chen. That's just how you categorize it. Where I come from, it's like that. Long Chen shrugged fearlessly and shamelessly. Tang Wanner and King Yu looked from the furious Elder Sun to the mischievous Long Chen. Neither said anything. Elder Sun was ashen from anger. His chest was heaving and his fists were tightly clenched. He looked like he might attack at any moment. But Long Chen just looked at him mockingly. Go ahead and try to attack. I'm not afraid of you. And in the end, Elder Sun really didn't dare to attack. He wasn't stupid. And he knew that even if he did, he wouldn't be able to kill him. Furthermore, that would only bring more trouble for him. So he could only endure. Speak. What do you want? Elder Sun's voice was a bit rough from his anger. Probably the fact that he hadn't turned mute from anger was already not bad. That's right. Young people shouldn't be so angry. Don't worry, I've already got the prescription that'll fix all your anger. Here, go gather all these medicinal ingredients. Long Chen handed over a list to Elder Sun. Elder Sun was quivering uncontrollably as he received that list. When he looked at the huge number of medicinal ingredients and the quantities, he directly coughed up blood. Long Chen, you're too excessive. Raged Elder Sun excessive? He, have you gone senile? Do you not remember all that you've done back then? You really had to act all virtuous and noble in front of me. The reason why I'm willing to sell my most precious treasure to you is all for you to taste the feeling of being oppressed. What happened to all your majesty from back then when you tried to force me to kneel? You wanted to use your bone forging pressure to subdue me? Don't you like to be very arrogant? On the battlefield, you even wanted to use someone else to kill me. He, just keep acting arrogant. 
Now that you're in the palm of my hand, you either better listen to me, or just fuck off. Of course, you can also try to attack me, but if you dare try that, he, well, if a monastery elder wanted to selfishly attack a disciple, then that elder would have to directly get the fuck out of the Zhuanshan monastery, cursed Long Chen. Although he had tried to keep his emotions in check, when he remembered about how Elder Sun had targeted him multiple times, in the end even trying to have him be killed, causing Chu Yao and Tang Wan'er to enter danger, his killing intent surged out. Long Chen took out a black zirconium the exact same as the previous two he had given Elder Sun seeing that stone. Elder Sun was filled with rage. Old fellow, you can choose. Do you want to do this shady deal once, or twice? Snorted Long Chen. Since he had already revealed his feelings for him, Long Chen was too lazy to act polite. Long Chen's meaning was clear. If you want the complete technique, you'll need to risk being cheated again. You could refuse. But if you do, then that price you paid before would be wasted on two useless rocks. Even if Elder Sun reported this matter to the monastery, Long Chen could say that this trade was to be paid in installments or even just make up something ridiculous. With the backing he had from the sect leader and Tu Fang, no one would purposely make things hard for him. In the end, nothing would happen to him. At this point, both parties had obtained half of what they wanted from the other party, but Long Chen had gained a huge advantage. With just those two stones, it was impossible to figure out the complete technique, and so they were useless. But Long Chen had obtained a huge number of precious medicinal ingredients. Those were treasures that had their own value, and so Elder Sun really didn't have much of a choice. He looked from that black stone to the list. Fine, I agree, but you have to swear that once I obtain those things, you have to hand over what's in your hand right now. Elder Sun grit his teeth. This time the medicinal ingredients on the list were a bit less than previously. However, their quality was also a level higher. He knew that the price this time wouldn't be much lower than the last time. In fact, it might even be a bit greater. And so if he did agree, then all his lifetime savings would be gone. But if he refused, then half of his savings would have disappeared for nothing. He was unwilling for that to happen. Fine. I, Long Chen, swear that if Elder Sun can gather everything on this list without one missing, I will definitely hand over what is in my hand to Elder Sun if I violate this oath. Let me be struck by heavenly lightning, swore Long Chen. The heavenly lightning oath was an extremely poisonous oath amongst people. If you broke it, your soul would scatter and you would never reincarnate. Only after Long Chen swore this oath did Elder Sun let out a breath of relief. He took the list and left. But as he left, his expression was incredibly ugly, so gloomy that he looked like someone who had just heard news that his parents had died. Long Chen, what are you doing? Tang Wan'er had forgotten her embarrassment now. Just now, Elder Sun had been on the verge of going out of control. In fact, Tang Wan'er had almost reflexively attacked first. King Yu was also terribly frightened. She wasn't a favorite and was just an ordinary inner disciple. There was no way for her to resist Elder Sun's pressure and so she was a bit pale. It's nothing. That old fellow wants me as master. But how could there be such a good thing? Does he think I'll take just any apprentice? So I gave him some missions. If he makes me pleased, I'll give him a taste of my amazingness and permit him to call himself my apprentice. But who would have thought this bastard only just made some achievements before wanting more from me? How absurd. Long Chen managed to spout a bunch of rubbish as soon as he opened his mouth. Tang Wan'er suddenly thought of what he had done and suspiciously glanced at that black zirconium. Suddenly she realized what he was doing. No wonder you were laughing so wickedly back then. Just like I thought. Long Chen, you're really trying to cheat Elder Sun. Are you not afraid of his reprisal? Tang Wan'er was extremely worried. She knew Long Chen's temperament. He was someone who would cheat someone until they were dead. Qishin was a good example. Ugh. Calling it cheating makes it sound so unpleasant. This is clearly just an equal trade. I'm passing on my cultivation technique to him. How is that cheating? Long Chen shook his head righteously. As if I'd believe you. Your expression completely sells you out. It's written all over your face. You're definitely being a cheater. Exclaimed Tang Wan'er. No way. It's that obvious. Long Chen put on a shocked expression. Causing Tang Wan'er and King Yu to laugh. Some of their worry faded. Tang Wan'er scolded. Don't mess around. This is serious. Long Chen was somewhat wronged. I am talking seriously. You're really planning on handing over your complete cultivation technique to him. Curiously asked Tang Wan'er. Of course. I don't believe you. I really am planning on handing over my complete cultivation technique to him. However, we'll see if he has that sort of fate. 
Seeing how enigmatic Long Chen was acting, Tang Wan'er was a bit irritated. She reminded him, Let me warn you, don't play with fire. It's very dangerous. Looking at Tang Wan'er's pretty face, Long Chen winked. Then let me warn you, don't play with fire. It's very dangerous. The same words, but completely different meanings. That flirtation in Long Chen's words were obvious, and Tang Wan'er immediately became as red as an apple when she thought of their kiss. She quickly hid herself back in her room, tightly locking the door. Let me warn you, don't play with fire. It's very dangerous. King Yu solemnly warned Long Chen. Long Chen immediately began to sweat. This time it seemed he had ended up jumping into his own trap. He hastily said, Yes, I will carefully follow Sister King Yu's instructions. In the following two days, Long Chen continued to refine medicinal powders. During this time, the entire monastery was deathly silent. Whether it was the new disciples or the old disciples, they were all in seclusion. They probably wouldn't come out for a whole month. They had to properly absorb the benefits from their experience in this battle that would solidify their foundation as well as temper their Dao hearts. After those two days, Elder Sun returned. 